connection with a deadly crash at a Florida daycare center has surrendered to authorities. Correspondent Tony Winton has more. The Orange County Corrections Department says 28-year-old Robert Alex Corchado turned himself in. He is currently being held at the Orange County Jail on a charge of leaving the scene of a deadly accident. He's being held on a $100,000 bond. Authorities say Corchado crashed into another vehicle, which in turn careened into the daycare center on Wednesday, killing a four-year-old girl and injuring 14 others. Many are still hospitalized. Tony Winton, Orlando. As several students remain in critical condition, the 16-year-old charge in the high school stabbing attack near Pittsburgh several days ago gave no hint of violence. That's according to his lawyer. Correspondent Warren Levinson has the latest. Nobody saw this coming, says defense attorney Patrick Tomasi, who is seeking a psychiatric evaluation for Alex Ribel. The 16-year-old was charged as an adult in the stabbings at Murrayville Regional High School, but Tomasi says there's good reason to move the case to juvenile court. Whether he's amenable to treatment, uh, which I think is a, a foregone conclusion here, I um, mean, his, his family life, his psychiatric state, his psychological state. Tomasi says Ribel is a good student with friends and a good relationship with his family. If convicted as an adult, he could face decades in prison. I'm Warren Levinson. A big shakeup for the boss of Obamacare. The Secretary of Health and Human Services is resigning. Correspondent Ricardo Alonso Zaldivar reports the successor to Kathleen Sebelius at HHS will still have some heavy lifting to do on health care. The administration has to do a lot of work on improving customer service. It's turned out that buying health insurance is not a simple thing. It's not like going on Amazon, not like Travelocity. People need a lot of personal assistance to get through the process. Another practical issue is what's going to happen to premiums next year. Former President George Bush dodged a thrown shoe in Iraq. Now a woman is under arrest in Las Vegas. Accused of throwing an object at former Secretary of State Hillary Rodham Clinton was on stage giving a speech. Ed Donahue explains. Clinton was the keynote speaker at the Institute of Scrap Recycling Industries convention. She had just started speaking. Cycling about two... <laughs> Is that a bat? It was a shoe. Hillary Rodham Clinton ducked and was not hit. My goodness, I didn't know solid waste management was so controversial. A person in the audience says a woman walked down the aisle near the front of the seating area, threw the shoe, turned around, and put her hands in the air and walked toward the back of the room. Security officers quickly caught up with her. I'm Ed Donahue. A stolen kiss by a married congressman might just result in him losing his job. A pair of top Louisiana Republicans say Congressman Vance McAllister should step down after getting caught getting cozy with a staffer. Correspondent Jerry Bodlander has the details. Louisiana Governor Bobby Jindal says Vance McAllister, who was videotaped kissing a married woman who isn't his wife, should resign so he has the time needed to put his family back together. Jindal's comment came shortly after the state's Republican chairman also called on McAllister to step down. House Speaker John Boehner met with McAllister and said he's got some decisions to make. A statement from McAllister's office said that as of now, there are no plans of resignation. Jerry Bodlander, Capitol Hill. And that's the news for Radio VR in Washington. I'm Kate Zickel. And I'm Rick Young. The latest news from around the world. We are Radio VR in Washington. Turning to health news, doctors at Johns Hopkins Medical School have discovered that bones are the coolest part of the body. The 10-year study found that although the body has many cool things in it, nothing is cooler than your skeleton. Just think about it. You have this soft, fleshy body, but inside of it, there's a second, tinier body that's made out of a super hard rock. Our data is conclusive. Bones are very, very cool. To conduct the study, researchers examined every single body part and determined how cool or uncool it was. We initially thought the brain might be the coolest part because it's like a computer that runs on food. But when we looked at it up close, it was all gross and wrinkled. Brains are not cool. Bones are cool. Doctors discovered that there are big, strong bones like baseball bats in your arms and legs, hand bones that look like a monster claw, and skull bones that make a scary face. Doctors did caution that as cool as human bones are, they're not nearly as cool as dinosaur bones. This is the Onion News Network.
Sports Talk Live, 855-453. You can give us a call and talk about whatever is on your mind on this live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live. It's Mark with you. And Daryl. That's right. Stephanie and Brian are off at the Toronto Bitcoin Conference, I believe it's called. I'm not 100% sure. Seems to be a new Bitcoin conference every weekend. It, it does. And I think this is great because what it means is, is that people are going to, who regionally wouldn't travel to, say, Miami or New York or um, Toronto or wherever the, you know, the farthest place is for you, Austin, that they can go to something closer. So I think that's awesome. It's wonderful. We'll bring more people into the mix. Anyway, um, you can give us a call at 855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE. Um, uh, that spells free out there in the last word. So it is a live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live. That means while the other talk show hosts are at home with their families, our families are lonely. Because we're here with you. So call in, talk about whatever you want. Um, Only one of us has a family, Mark. <laughs> well, I think mine's kind of happy to get rid of me every once in a while, too. <laughs> so we have a story here that apparently the regulations are protecting us uh, f- uh, once again from uh, low gas prices. Yeah, and that's pretty much what it is. But it- it's one of these things to where you have to go to multiple sources to get the full story and then piece it together. There's an automobile that Volkswagen has made. You could say, be, be pretentious and say uh, um, Volkswagen. Volkswagen. <laughs> the people's car. Yes. That, that's what it translates to. It does say that. Uh, Volkswagen has created a concept car called the Volkswagen XL1. Okay. There's only going to be 200 of these made. All right. And the cost works out to roughly 185,000 US dollars. 185 grand. Yes. All right. Not exactly uh, something that everybody can afford. 300 miles per gallon. Nice. Now, there's a theory going around that the reason this car will not be sold in the United States where a lot of where a lot of people um have $185,000 to spend on a car is because the oil industry is somehow paying politicians to prevent Volkswagen from being able to bring the automobile here sounds uh, dubious um i mean you know the idea that the oil industry is going to be very concerned about how many did you say they're going to make 200. 200, $185,000 cars. Yes. Doesn't seem that I, I'm, I'm not saying that they don't, they're not seeing the wave coming in, in the future. And certainly that's what this would be about. But um, yeah, go ahead. So I've pieced the following together from two different articles. Okay. Because each one has part of the story. All right. So. It begins, you won't find the 300-mile-per-gallon Volkswagen XL1 in an American showroom because many speculators believe oil profits are too high in America with the status quo in place, which means the powers that be are preventing such a design to hit the American highways. For lightweight— Now, this is, this is one of those things that uh, you hear, you've, I've heard since I was a kid. I remember my uncle when we went up to uh, Richmond, Indiana, and this must have been in the late 70s, telling me about a car battery that had been bought up by the car manufacturers because this battery would recharge itself overnight. That they had uh, somehow, uh, beyond uh, my understanding of chemistry, created a battery that doesn't need recharging and that, in fact, will recharge itself overnight. And... The, I've heard a variety of these. I, I've heard about carburetors. The car, the hundred mile per gallon carburetor. Um, now I have actually, we've actually had a, um, uh, a mechanic, call into this show, and say that he saw one of those hundred mile an hour uh, mile per gallon uh, carburetors. Now, uh, the thing is, is. You know, what do you do when there's no facts? There's just hearsay. Right. Um, I mean, I don't think my uncle was telling a lie, um, but I think I kind of feel like, you know, there's this uh, this, th- this thing where 
something happened to someone else and they told the story to you so well yes. that you really feel like you were there and that is obviously a true thing you're saying. So you'll tell the story as though it occurred to you as instead of the, to yes. the person. It's, I, I've done this. Now, one thing it's that— It's what we call a lie. Well, one thing that I know for a fact is there are EPA regulations and other regulations on the fuel-to-air ratio— Saying that you know it it cannot be more than mm. like fourteen to one. Okay, so and potentially if a um, for whatever reason one of these hundred mile per gallon carburetors had a different fuel to air uh, ratio than what the if government it had allowed? a greater fuel to air ratio, then it would not be allowed under current statute. Okay, and current regulations. Yep, and, you know, and I don't know, but there's there's this underlying meme that somehow big government and big companies collude to keep us to keep the best stuff from us. Yes. That I believe. Now what the specifics are, I don't know. Are these stories allegorical about the recharging battery in the 100 mile per gallon carburetor? I can't answer. But I can say that uh, I absolutely believe that big government and big business are uh, constantly colluding to enrich themselves at our expense. Now, Mark, I'm going to give you a figure that is just going to knock your socks off. I ho- whatever figure I get, I hope it's like about 15 pounds less because I really need to lose that. The empty vehicle weight is 629 pounds. Holy macaroni. Hold on. The empty- to, to obtain the light weight. This is a go-kart. The car uses... $185,000 million- $185, go-kart. The car uses an unpainted carbon fiber skin over a magnesium alloy subframe. All right. Individual components have been designed to be low weight, including the engine, transmission, suspension, carbon fiber wheels, aluminum brakes, titanium hubs, ceramic bearings, and so on. I want to see this car so badly. Now, there's not too many cars that I would go to a car show to see, but I want to see this little number by uh, Volkswagen, this $185,000 car that weighs 630 pounds. 629. Right, okay. Um, if, if if you put something in the cup holder, it goes to 130. Um, <laughs> 630. I mean, you and I, Daryl, if we, you know, neither of us could parallel park, could pick this thing up by its bumpers and move it into the parking space. Yes, so the XL1 is powered by a turbo diesel two-cylinder combi- combined with an electric motor and wow. a seven-speed dual-clutch automatic, which is mounted behind the passenger compartment. The vehicle will not be released in the United States. Over the past few days, there's been talk on several websites and blogs about the car not getting a U.S. release but the actual reason is relatively pedestrian. Autoblog said last year about this vehicle that some may be brought to the U.S. for testing, though how Volkswagen gets around the fact that the car has not been safety tested for American roads remains to be seen. So that is why the 300 mile per gallon Volkswagen XL1 that cost $185,000 will not be available in the U.S. It's not safety tested for American roads. And I've seen figures saying that in order for this vehicle to wind up getting compliant with American safety test, they would need to add at least 1,000 pounds to the total weight. Yeah, and this is this is how the government helps you every day, right? Like, they've got these regulations in place, and they're just to keep you safe, but... In fact, what they do is they keep you from having the two... Is it 200 mile per gallon? 300. Actually, 313 is the number that I've seen from one source. The 300 mile plus per gallon car. And that's why the government has no business handing down safety regulations or really any regulations. How are you going to fix this? Have you heard these kind of stories before? 855-450-FREE.
There's a treasure hunt going on at mathgate.info, a Bitcoin treasure hunt. You can find Bitcoins by proving theorems. So learn some logic, do some math, find some Bitcoins. Even better, mathgate.info is designed to be used anonymously. So connect to mathgate.info through Tor, prove some theorems, find some anonymous Bitcoins. Don't wait. Others are already searching for the Bitcoins. Go to mathgate.info today and join the treasure hunt. There are anonymous Bitcoins to be had for the taking at mathgate.info. I'm Chuck Woolery. You know, I don't know about you, but I don't like taking pills for minor arthritis pain, and I really don't like those patches either. But I have found something that works, Australian Dream. It's an arthritis pain relief cream. It's a great product. It doesn't smell or burn. It isn't greasy, and it works. And Australian Dream has an empty jar guarantee, so you can use a whole jar, and if you're not happy, you get your money back. But I doubt that you'll send it back. You know, the stuff really works. Get Australian Dream at Walgreens, CVS, or Walmart. You'll be glad you did. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should, too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. If you're looking for work, there's a piece of paper more important than your resume. It's the cover letter attached if you're snail mailing or the email to which you attach your resume. Make it four short paragraphs. Paragraph one, say that you're applying for work. The person you're sending to gets a ton of mail about all sorts of things. If you have a password, that's your first sentence. Tom Nelson tells me you and I should meet. Paragraph 2, what you do and how that relates to the opening. Be as specific as possible. Paragraph 3, why you want this particular job. I'm originally from Boston, so I know the market well. I have family and friends in the area, so this would be a homecoming for me. Paragraph 4, unless the job posting stipulates no calls, and I will call you to follow up. Thank you in advance for your time. From survivalspeech.com, I'm Holland cook if you want to know the latest about free talk live before we go on the air all you need to decide is how you want it delivered it's your choice visit news.freetalklive.com you can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list plus we have a twitter account that you can follow and a facebook page where you can become a fan so visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about free talk live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Did you know that Free Aid is a mutual aid, educational, and networking organization? At Free Aid, we support volunteers who provide first aid. We do outreach to the public about health and safety, and we bring together medically skilled freedom lovers. Free Aid is made possible by your generous support. Donors can receive great gifts like first aid kits, t shirts, silver dime cards, and hoodies. The Free Aid Silver Dime Card Project is sponsored in part by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage, Freedoms Phoenix, and Don't Tread on Meme. Visit fr33aid.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Talk Live, 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. You can call in about whatever you want to talk about here on the live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live with Mark. And Daryl. I want to tell you about LeaderAmp. LeaderAmp is a program designed by Dr. Matt Barney. And what the program is, is um, him putting together his 
20 years of knowledge using the latest science around how to create successful leaders and people that, uh, you know, want to use uh, you know, the, the latest technology in, in uh, develop personal development and the ability to sort of to convince other people with their words. I think this is extraordinarily valuable, not just for people who, you know, speak for a living or salespeople, but people inside offices that work inside management, things like that. These are incredibly valuable skills, and LeaderAmp does something entirely different that you haven't experienced before, and that is that they evaluate you personally, where are your strengths and weaknesses, as opposed to buying a book, a book that's just written for everybody and may or may not have uh, you know, t- tested um, uh, systems. So leader amp, I signed up for it um, happily. I can't wait to uh, to get evaluated and be ranked against uh, historical leaders like Gandhi or Steve Jobs and be able to participate in the community with other people who have been evaluated. And, you know, once you're evaluated, then you can see where you need to work and they've got tools to help you develop in that area, too. It's leaderamp.freetalklive.com to sign up. That's their Indiegogo campaign. Um, the app is currently in development, but when you sign up, you're going to get it. I'm confident. I don't see why you wouldn't. Leader, as a matter of fact, you won't be charged unless you do. Leaderamp.freetalklive.com. So there you go. Daryl, we're talking about this car that gets, uh, is it created yet? It has been created. Prototyped? Uh, well, I, I don't know if you could call it prototyped. Uh, Volkswagen is calling it a concept car. Okay. Meaning that they have a couple already made that they've been taking around to car shows, Mm -hmm. but it will not be coming to the U.S. because of the safety testing. And one report says that it gets 313 miles per gallon. Yeah, and that's a lot of miles per gallon. And the... It appears as though we're being, and we in the American public are being protected from this car. We're being protected because, well, it's so light, it doesn't, it isn't, for whatever reason, isn't going to pass all the crash tests, right? Right. Now, I think that some, the people that are likely to spend $185,000 on this vehicle that can get 300 miles to the gallon plus, um, the reason that they're, Willing to do that, uh, likely they don't care that much about the crash testing if they're willing to do that. I mean, that's like they're right. dedicated. Also, I know there's another car. There was this car that could uh, go, do like 40 miles an hour across the water. Um, it's like its wheels would go up and its little boats underside would. Uh, oh yeah, I've seen those. Yeah, it's really cool. It's uh, like a, some kind of aqua car thing, but amph- amphicar, I believe, something like that. Um, it's an amphibious car, but because it. Um, Every basically, when you're when you're doing forty miles an hour, you're crashing into these waves, right? Well, when you crash into things in a car, what pops out? Airbag. Right. So because they can't make the airbag technology work with the car, they can't have it on. They can't sell one new on the road. Now they can sell them in Mexico, and I guess you could get one used here in the United States potentially. Because I mean, this is a recreational vehicle. I mean, this it's like people aren't commuting to work in these things. Um, I mean, they it, could. It might be the weird. It'd be a weird commute, right? Like a person who lives in a houseboat or some kind of island that doesn't have a bridge, um, wanting to uh, you know transfer and then drive across. I don't know. It's but uh, for that person, it would be really great to have that vehicle. But these are the innovations that we're protected against because of this one size fits all system of regulation that they have for the car manufacturers. And I imagine that the people have clamored for this. We have to have this protection. What will we do without this protection? Well, in Europe for years, Volkswagen has been putting out turbo diesels Mm -hmm. that get 50, 60, and 70 miles per gallon, but because of, you know, the fuel-to-air ratio and the worries about dirty diesel and not being able to pass the emissions testing— Volkswagen has been scared to sell those vehicles in the U.S. There's some year, like 2004, 2005, of the TDI Jetta wagons that uh, we got some numbers that were close to what you're talking about. But you're right. Now the newer ones don't get quite as good a gas mi- a diesel mileage, fuel mileage, um, as the uh, as the older ones did, and it's because of the clean diesel 
technology, I guess, um, in some way, shape, or form. Now, I'm not an expert on that. I do have a friend who's an expert, and if we wanted to do a whole show on that, I'm sure he could inform us. But, you know, that's the long and the short of it. And this is... You know, this is the concern I have, is that these regulations are made by somebody who just doesn't give a flip about what you want in your life. I want a car that weighs 600 pounds so that I can, uh, and gets 300 miles to the gallon. I want that. I don't want to pay $185,000 for it. But what I, one thing that I'm aware of and I'm certain of is that technologies, as they become more ubiquitous, become cheaper. Yes. When um, plasma TVs came out, and I don't remember what year it was, but it was like in the early aughts when these things came out. They were very expensive. But people, rich people who were like, we we shall hang a waffle thin TV upon our wall. Um, these people were willing to pay that kind of five grand or whatever they were paying for this tea thing. The rest of us are using old cathode ray tube technology and these, those projector things where they shoot three different colors on there. I had a 1995 TV that's like a it's like a bigger than a chest of drawers. This thing was gigantic. One and, of the projector TVs. Yeah, the internal projector. And I I, I, I had that TV for years and it was just fine. Now uh, I remember when I was in high school, one of my buddies had one of those. And we used to go over to his house so that we could play Mario Brothers on this. Because then Mario would wind up just being huge up on the screen. Right, and that's what's so awesome about it. It's big. It's like, oh, well, Mario's like as big as we are. <laughs> and some of the, they even have projector ones now that are pretty awesome um, that you can you can use your... IO or your, um, you know, whatever these uh, online um, TV technologies you've got, uh, Netflix or whatever, and then project it out onto just a blank wall yeah. and have reasonably good television. I don't think everybody really needs to one of these uh, plasma TVs, but we've got one in our house and it's convenient to not have something giant in the middle of the floor like it used to be. Right. So, um, but it's, it's wealthy people that brought the price down. People saw, you know, they, there was, you know, manufacturers saw that there was a demand for it, so they continued to manufacture. Then the competition goes into play. Well, I can sell it for $100 cheaper than you. Well, I can sell it for $100. Now they're competing on who can sell it for $10 cheaper. Right. Because, you know, it's four or $500 for a 50-inch flat-screen TV, and that's a big difference in the four or 5000 that it used to be. And you can thank wealthy people for having done that. And that's what's going to happen with this car after the concept car turns into something real, um, more real. Well, wealthy people are going to buy them. We're going to have better technology. So 855-450 free if you want to comment on this or tell us about a technology that you've heard of that's been kept out out by the government. 855-450-3733. There are many things the human body can do very well, but maintaining the proper pH level isn't always one of them. That's where AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops can make a world of difference. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops helps your body do what's natural. Just a few drops a day helps rid your body of harmful waste and acid while promoting health and restoring vibrance and energy. Alkalizing boosts your immune system and can help fight headaches, irritability, cramping, and insomnia. Alkalizing also helps the body fight depression and even bone loss. To learn more, more about the importance of alkalizing and how you can find life-changing and vital balance, please visit AlkaVision's brand new website at AlkaVision.com. Same great products, but now easier to use and more informative than ever before. To get your very own plasma pH drops for just $29.95, call 800-518-7615 or visit AlkaVision.com. That's A-L-K-A-Vision.com. Alkalize your body and supercharge your health at the new AlkaVision.com. Free Talk Live. Did you say that you prostituted yourself when you were 10 years old? I was doing something of a sexual nature in return was that a for... Woman or a- it was a next-door neighbor. He was probably around 16. So he took advantage of you. He- no, sir. He didn't take he advantage of me. You, he corrupted you morally. No, no, sir. It was my choice to climb into his According window. It was Lord. my choice, listen. Lou. It was my choice to take my pants off and get into his listen, bed. It was all my choice, listen Lou. Me. Listen to me, Ian. 
you do not have the right at the age of 10 to make that decision. Don't you dare tell me what I can and can't what do, mean, do Lou. I'm telling you, he molested you. No, you Lou. Don't even Sorry, realize Lou, you. you don't understand what molestation is. Molestation is unwanted sexual advances. I consented. I know you don't believe that's possible. I know me better than you know me, Lou. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. The warning signs. At first, he made me feel special. He promised he'd look after me, provide for my future. He broke every promise he made. Millions of Americans afflicted. I was ready to leave, but he told me he'd change. So I gave him another chance. I was such a fool. The consequences. Things only got worse. He started making my decisions for me, about my job, my kid's education, my money my safety, my future. He took away my choices, but I kept going back to the same politicians. The diagnosis, battered voter syndrome. I fell for the same old lies. They were just playing with my emotions, telling me what I wanted to hear. That's not right. Stop the insanity of voting for the same old abusers. Declare your independence from the two-party system and join the New Hampshire Liberty Party today at nhliberty.info. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. 855-450-3. 855-450-3. That's 855-450-3733. It's Mark with you. And Daryl. Live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live. These phone lines brought to you by ProXPN. What is ProXPN? It's an excellent question. ProXPN is a virtual private network. And this allows, basically it's a tunnel, an encrypted tunnel from your computer to whatever websites you're going to visit. And that's important because, well, I don't, you never know how your web visits are going to be interpreted or misinterpreted uh, by the federal government. There have been instances where people were doing research as reporters, um, just looking at stuff on the internet, being curious. That's what reporters do. And... Well, the feds came to their door and started tossing stuff. Um, That's kind of concerning. Well, your ISP, the Internet Service Provider, is going to provide them with whatever information they want on you. And if they're looking for a pattern, they're going to provide them with whatever pattern information that they want from you. Um, If they're looking for you for downloading um, torrents, they're going to provide that information um, on you. Also, if you happen to be at a university or a business or whatever that uh, blocks certain websites and you want to get to those websites, well, you can use a VPN to get there, virtual private network like uh, ProXPN.com. If you're in a country where they block this, then that's helpful. If you're out at an airport or a coffee shop using the Internet, you better darn sure be using a VPN because if you're not, you're going to get your little packets sniffed. And when they pa- sniff your packets, they're going to take your bank account information and all kinds of stuff from you. You really don't want that. ProXPN can solve your problems for a mere $5 a month. Now, as little as $5. Actually, it's less than that if you use uh, Bitcoin. So um, they've got their premium service. uh, And if you go to proxpn.com slash FTL, you use promo code FTL20. 
you'll get 20% off right from the get-go. Now, if you, you'll get an additional discount if you pay annually. Now, you still use that FTL20 code, pay annually, and if you pay in Bitcoin, you'll get another 30% off. So I don't know what uh, 70% of five bucks is, but it's something like $3.60 or something like that. So um, three fifty, I don't know. Thereabouts. So you can do this for as little as three fifty a month. If you use Bitcoin, you pay annually and use the FTL20 code at proxpn.com slash FTL. It is totally worth it. I use it, um, and I find it to be a fantastic service. So we were talking about uh, in the last segment how the uh, federal government hasn't exactly banned a 313-mile-an-hour Volkswagen concept car, but the rules prevent that car from ever being sold here in the United States. As currently manufactured. As currently manufactured and as currently written. They could rewrite the rules anytime they want. They just won't. Right. Because the people that uh, pay these people don't want newer, lower gas technology. You want newer, newer, lower gas technology, but what do the oil companies who have lots of money for lobbyists, what do they want? Well, I don't know what they want, but they don't want the same thing as you. And this is what's wrong with the government. It's a government of the lawyers, you know, by the lobbyists, for the corporations. It's a mess up there, and it has nothing to do with you. And it's not gonna, it's it's not gonna get any better. Washington is too powerful, too much of a sweet plum for those that would pillage your uh, your net worth. Well, whatever it is. Well, one other thing, it's not just the lobbyists for the oil industries that want to make sure that they keep protecting their profits. The politicians want to make sure that they keep bringing in the same amount of fuel tax because, you know, you you hear a lot about, well, BP had record profits last year, but you never hear that governments brought in more money on fuel taxes last year than ever before because they keep increasing the fuel taxes all the time. You know, I'm this this thing about building roads, the, the government's uh, the government's job, what else the government who would build the roads. You know, I I don't know, but who would maintain the roads because it's a big darn mess the government and its uh, maintenance uh, uh, policies for the roads. If I had a stretch of road I'll bet you, as an advertising executive, I will bet you that I could have that road, the best road in the country, maintained free to anybody who wants to use it. Because I would make that road um, it, it, just an entire rolling billboard. The uh, the safety things along the side would be sponsored by Walmart. The th- the road itself, there'd be um, fast foods, uh, you know, companies. You'd buy an eighth of a mile at a go. You know, this this eighth of a mile brought to you by Kentucky Fried Chicken. This one brought to you by Pizza Hut. Am I mentioning the same company over and over again? This one brought to you by yum. Pepsi. This one brought to you by <laughs> Taco Bell. <laughs> that, I mean, that's all part of the yum corporate. You, yes. You've got to deal with the yum corporation. Fine, but I'm sure that I could have the best road in the country from a technological standpoint that didn't have to be paid for anybody because it was full of sponsors from people that want to provide you goods and services. Would it be ugly? By some people's estimation, it would. But I'll bet you those people would feel a lot better when they didn't have to pay a gas tax to be on it. See, this gas tax is just a way that people who, they want to control the way you live. Yeah. This is how they do it. And the government wants that gas tax. You're absolutely right. They don't want, they're trying to figure out ways. I have a plug-in hybrid. The first 13 miles that I drive... I don't have to pay gas tax on, and I try not to. to I try not to use gas as much as I can. So, uh, it's I, I, I'm doing the math here, and it seems as though your trip to and from the studio, you're not using gas. Two, um, if I plugged in here at the studio, it would be from. Um, consider that if you want to run the air conditioning or heater, uh, you're going to pretty much have to turn the engine on. I get very good gas mileage. At no point am I getting less than 50 miles to the gallon with this vehicle. And the reason I got it is, is just um, I don't like the idea of using the oil that comes from foreign countries because I know, you know, they, they do all kinds of dirty deeds to get this stuff. And I just don't I don't want to participate. That's all. 
Um, and by the way, it's really my first new car ever, and it's really an awesome way to drive with that little smart key thing. I, I, I you know, it's just awesome. If you haven't, if you haven't experienced a smart key, hmm, consider what it might be like. You know, just check it out. So. Nonetheless, um, I, I think that top politicians really do want to stop this whole, you know, people using less fuel thing. And they don't know what to do about and it. And they, they claim wh- whenever there's a debate on we need to increase the fuel toll. And here in New Hampshire, they call it a fuel toll, not a fuel tax, because, quote, unquote, people in New Hampshire don't like taxes. That was a direct quote from a state representative in support of increasing the fuel tax. Yes. He was like, we have to call it a toll because people in New Hampshire don't like taxes. And if we tell them that we're raising the fuel tax, they'll vote again. They'll, they'll vote all of us out. Well, But they keep saying that it's a user fee. It is not a user fee. No, it's not. It would be a user fee if everybody's automobile got the same fuel mileage. That's not true. I mean, big trucks, uh, you get lower mileage, and so therefore, and they have they're more wear and tear on the road. But the fact is, is when you use a you, you fuel up your uh, snowmobile, your lawnmower, your um, you know whatever your whatever your farm equipment is, you're paying this tax. Now, in some places, they have uh, this tax free fuel. Diesel you you fuel. can get what they call the the off-road diesel but i don't know it where- doesn't have the dye in it and then if they do some kind of check test yeah and they see that what you have in your road vehicle doesn't have the dye then you wind up getting busted big, for you know some kind of you didn't fine. give us our dib yeah they have that but i don't know where to I, i've heard of this stuff i don't know where to buy it i have a farm why can't i buy this stuff um, my gas, my tractors, I think, run on gasoline anyway. I mean, we're not talking about any, any big, big farm here or anything. But yeah, it's not. That's just that's just for the big time guys. I'm paying uh, a road tax every time I mow my lawn. Right. So that's you know no, it's it's a really messed up system. But they don't want to do anything that uh, is beneficial to you by putting up sponsorships or something like that. Wouldn't it be nice to drive on a road for free? I bet yeah. you could do it. 855 450 free. Prove me wrong. Free Talk Live. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Camano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top one percent arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com If you own a business, you need customers, right? Well, your potential customers are listening to this radio program right now, and I can help you reach them. Hi, I'm Matt Brower, a national marketing executive at the radio network responsible for this program. I can help you customize a national radio campaign that fits your budget, large or small, while targeting your specific audience. Call me to learn how radio advertising can make your business more profitable. 877-996-4327, extension 128. That's 877-996-4327, extension 128. How can you save a ton of money and prepare for emergencies? By having your own in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted food by freeze drying your leftovers. That's right. Create your own long-term food storage by freeze drying your own fruits, meats, vegetables, even complete meals with the Harvest Right in-home freeze dryer. Imagine the savings and the peace of mind. See how the amazing Harvest Right freeze dryer works at HarvestRight.com. The following is an important free offer for smokers only. The makers of Victor, the world's most advanced e-cigarette, 
have just authorized the release of free starter kits to all smokers who call in the next 10 minutes. Valued at $99, these Victor starter kits are available for free, but only while supplies last. To guarantee your free kit, call in the next 10 minutes, 1-800-564-6941. The revolutionary Victor design creates only water vapor. There is no foul-smelling smoke and no unhealthy tar. This allows individuals to enjoy the nicotine they love without restriction, no matter where they are. The financial advantages over cigarettes are considerable as well. It is estimated that the average smoker can save hundreds of dollars a month with Victor. Again, free Victor starter kits are now available to any smoker who calls in the next 10 minutes. This is a radio-only offer not available in stores, so call now for your free kit. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Imagine for a moment a radio program, the most personal of mediums, that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can call in and talk about whatever's on your mind with me, Mark. And Daryl. 855-450-FREE. You know, we've been talking about uh, you know the government and it helping us with regulation when, in fact, uh, point of fact, these, these regulations harm us over and over again. And, you know, that's um, strangely an overarching theme here on Free Talk Live. We've been doing this show for... 12 years now, going on 12 years, and we make available to you the vast majority of those archives. I think there's some of them that are not yet available, but um, you can go to archives.freetalklive.com and get those archives completely free. Well, I suppose it costs you the energy through your computer to get them, but we don't charge you for them. That's archives.freetalklive.com. You can get the last seven days always on the front page of Free Talk Live, and I think like every page of Free Talk Live. <laughs> but, um, you know, we try to make it easy for you to listen to the show. We're not like those other shows where we charge you for everything. Free Talk Live's model is that uh, we give it away, and then if you like it, if you support what we do here on Free Talk Live, which is to uh, – it, it, it's an effort. We, 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 we take a strong, t- strong stand towards for human freedom. If you appreciate that, then you can help us by um, going to the AMP page at amp.freetalklive.com and, well, giving as little as a nickel a show, uh, an hour of the show. That's what a $5 AMP costs you um, in a month, and it's not much – but it helps us a great deal. We use that money to uh, get Google AdWords. And we're actually having those. Your funds are doubled right now for a sh- uh, limited time. So it's uh, now's the time to go to amp.freetalklive.com and uh, help us out. It's amp.freetalklive.com. So I've got this poll that is this disturbing, weird poll. It's the latest reason. I don't know how this is spelled. Roop or Rupe. Poll finds that Americans think their government wastes 50 cents of every dollar they hand over in taxes. That sounds rather low, but again, we're asking average people here. So I I, I could see how that would wind up being the average thought. And what what's interesting about this, I agree that uh, the government wastes money. Um, I mean, that's pretty obvious. It's like the definition of of, uh, of the government. But 
it's the counter question here that really is kind of odd. Um, so, in, in fact, uh, middle of uh, middle of half Americans think government wastes anywhere from thirty cents to eighty cents of every tax dollar. So, yes, fifty percent is halfway between thirty and eighty, isn't it? No, it seems like fifty-five is. Um, yeah. Anyway, so you know, fifty fifty percent is right there. This suggests Americans believe that the federal government should be able to make do with just half the money it collects in a year. Wouldn't that be awesome? Your, yes. your tax is cut in half. With perceived waste this high, however, it's really surprising that only 17%. Now consider that the, that the, uh, the, the middle quintile of Americans think that the government wastes anywhere from 30 cents to 80 cents of every tax dollar. Now that means that the lower quintiles think that it's way less of a waste, and the two a high- quintile being a group of twenty percent. That's correct. Um, the highest quintiles, the two highest quintiles, think that they waste more than thirty to eighty percent, whatever that might be. And that's a pretty big number. So basically, Americans believe that their government wastes fifty to fifty-five percent of the money that they give them. However, only seventeen percent of Americans think that their income taxes. Did uh, more to prove, uh, improve society than had they given their money to charity or invested in private private businesses? Hold on just a second. I think I've I've read this wrong. So I was thinking that it's seventeen percent of Americans think that they would not have uh, that that basically charity charities and private businesses would have. Uh, no, no. This is saying that seventeen percent. I see. Believe that the government is doing a better job than charities and private businesses. The really fun which thing- would wind up being pretty much that bottom quintile of no, government doesn't waste anything. Yeah. That yes, those people that uh, hmm probably get a great deal of government money uh, would be my guess or they're just tried and true socialists. One of the two. The now I by I- people that get government money, you're including government employees. Yeah. That way people don't think that you're just picking on welfare recipients. Or, um, I mean, there's a variety of people out there. Some people don't believe that, for instance, if we got rid of Social Security that you can save for your retirement. Or, you know, that somehow because um, of Social Security I'm responsible for paying you for your retirement. So, I mean, you know, there's this whole variety of things. I've opted out of Social Security. I'm just, I'm not paying any longer. don't want it. Not interested in it. But um, I did read misread this two times, by the way. I've read this article two times before getting on the air. Um, so it's less surprising that only 17% of Americans think their income taxes did more to improve society than had they given that money to charity or invested in private businesses. So my question here is, is do you think, are you one of these 17% that think that your money is better spent with the government than it is with charity and private businesses? Do you think that the government is better at spending your money than you are? Because I want to hear from you at 855-450-FREE. Not to ridicule you, not to make fun of you. I want to have a real conversation with you about why. Because this is so far from my world and so far from my understanding of things that I need to be enlightened. I really do not get it. Because to me, we could do away with this force mechanism called the income tax and things would be just fine for us. Yep, there might be some downsizing for federal government programs. Maybe, maybe the military would be a bit, you know, downsized. I know they get a great deal of uh, federal federal money. Uh, I've seen figures that indicate that nearly one trillion dollars goes either directly or indirectly to the military. Now um, that includes. The VA and a lot of the contracts related to buying weaponry and bullets and training of members of the military. But it also includes the two somewhat declared military actions, all of the undeclared military actions, and the of you know, keeping of... Upwards of 900 bases and 150 some odd nations around the world. Now, I think that the federal government, if it makes a commitment to a veteran, that it is obligated to fulfill on that um, commitment. Now, 
sadly, they're not, and they'll do whatever the hell they want, and you will do whatever, you, you'll, you'll just suck it up because that's what it's all about. That's what veterans have been doing all along, and it's amazing to me that people continue to, to sign up for this stuff, but they do. And uh, But what my concern is is that many times people think that liberty is going to be sacrificed right. um, for, uh, you know, for lower pay. And I disagree with this entirely. If you listen to the terrorists and what they say, if you just read what they say rather than just jumping to your own conclusions, it's their, their concerns are two. A, um, the federal government's support of Israel. Now, I, I have been to Israel. I like Israel. But I don't think that the federal government should support Israel any more than supports any other country. The fact is the federal government's money to Israel is really just – Israel can defend itself. It doesn't need it doesn't need the money, and it doesn't need the U.S. federal government telling it what to do. It doesn't need it. Um, and the other thing that they don't it like – It doesn't need it, but they sure do like it. Yeah, well, I like free money too. Um, the The other thing is is that – it's really offensive to many of uh, these people that, um, you know, people that probably have, uh, you know, ethnic biases. They don't want U.S. Um, or certainly cultural biases. They don't want Christian U.S. people there with guns defending um, their, you know, despots, dictators, sheiks, and kings from overthrow. Now, I'm not the one to say. I think it's really amusing that a country that over, overthrew its king 230 years ago or whatever it was thinks that it's a good idea to keep in place kings in Saudi Arabia. I mean, the hubris of this thought process is just stunning to me. I, 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 can't, I cannot understand it for a moment, but they continue to do it. So anyway, I'm going to go on to the article here. Gallup first began asking this question in the late 70s and early 80s, finding that Americans generally thought the government wasted about 40 cents of every tax dollar. This number has steadily increased, rising to 46 cents in um, 2002. Then in um, September 2011, Gallup reported that uh, it was 50 percent. Uh, it exceeded the 50 percent threshold. And now uh, in 2012, um, it's uh, hit a record of 60 cents on every dollar in September 2013. And uh, since last fall, concerns of government waste have fallen back to 50 cents on the dollar. So um, as recently as 20... Why, why has the music stopped? Oh, anyway, 855-450 free. Free Talk Live, you can comment on this. That's 855-450-3733. MeowBit is free software from the Freedom Fiends that allows you to effortlessly view .bit websites. MeowBit works on all browsers. .bit is a new type of web address that's not controlled by any government or corporation. And we'll show you how to register a .bit domain today using a few cents worth of name coin. If anyone ever shuts down your .com website, users will still be able to get to your site using your .bit address and our free software, MeowBit. Go to MeowBit.com. That's M-E-O-W-B-I-T.com. Imagine an acne treatment breakthrough that even Proactive says is better than Proactive. Announcing all new Proactive Plus, the revolutionary new way to clear your skin from the number one name in acne care. Proactive Plus is our best, most effective solution ever. I am just so happy with Proactive Plus. I don't think my skin has ever looked this good. Call 1-800-443-7087. Be one of the first to try Proactive Plus guaranteed 100% risk-free. Call 1-800-443-7087. If there was a place that liberty-minded people had been elected to political positions and were rolling back government, would you move there? If freedom lovers had secured a 20% voting block and can veto most bad bills, would you move? Well, the time has come to sign the pledge at freestateproject.org. These things have happened in New Hampshire, and you can join us and help. freestateproject.org. Sign up now at freestateproject.org. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. 
From Kane in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Sunday, April 13th, 2014. Silver is trading at $20 per ounce. Gold is worth $1,319 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $406. Reuters reports armed separatists took control of a city in eastern Ukraine on Saturday and Kiev prepared troops to tackle what it called an act of aggression by Russia, pushing the conflict between the neighbors into a dangerous new phase. Pro-Russian activists carrying automatic weapons seized government buildings in Slavyansk, a town about 90 miles from the Russian border, and set up barricades on the outskirts of the city. Government buildings in several other towns were attacked in what Washington said were moves reminiscent of the events that preceded Russia's annexation of Crimea. The West accuses Russia of destabilizing the region as a pretext to potentially sending in troops to protect the local Russian-speaking population as it did in Crimea. NATO says Russian armed forces are massing on Ukraine's eastern border, while Moscow says they are normal maneuvers. Any escalation would increase the risk of a gas war that could disrupt energy supplies across Europe. When you purchase gold or silver from Amagi Metals using my affiliate link, gold.fppradio.com, you help fund FPP Radio News. That's gold.fppradio.com. The Associated Press reports federal land managers confirmed they released all 400 or so head of cattle rounded up on public land in southern Nevada from a rancher who has refused to recognize their authority. The Bureau of Land Management took the action Saturday afternoon after hundreds of states' rights protesters, including militia and Tea Party members, showed up at corrals outside Mesquite to demand the animals' returns to Clive and Bundy. The Bureau issued a brief statement saying the cattle were released, quote, due to escalating tensions, end quote. Some protesters were armed with handguns and rifles at the corrals and at an earlier nearby rally. Las Vegas Police Lieutenant Dan Zinder said the showdown was resolved with no injuries and no violence. Clark County Sheriff Doug Gillespie was able to negotiate a resolution after talking with Bundy. The release came only hours after BLM Chief Neil Corns announced an abrupt halt to the week-long roundup because of safety concerns. The fight between Bundy and the BLM widened into a debate about states' rights and federal land use policy. The Bureau revoked Bundy's grazing rights after he stopped paying grazing fees and disregarded federal court orders to remove his animals. The dispute that ultimately triggered the roundup dates to 1993 when the Bureau cited concerns for the federally protected tortoise in the region. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Coinbase. Coinbase is a simple and secure online Bitcoin wallet for sending, receiving, and storing Bitcoin. Get started at coinbase.fppradio.com. That's coinbase.fppradio.com. The International Business Times reports, In the aftermath of one of the biggest security breaches the internet has ever seen, web users are scrambling to determine whether their online accounts are affected and if they should act on it. Earlier this week, experts uncovered the Heartbleed bug, a massive security flaw in the open SSL software that is used to encrypt online communications, possibly putting hundreds of thousands of web and email servers worldwide into the hands of hackers. The Heartbleed bug tricks servers running OpenSSL into revealing decryption keys stored on a server's memory. With these keys, hackers can intercept sensitive information like passwords and credit card numbers. The Heartbleed bug, which may have compromised such high-profile servers as Tumblr, Yahoo, Flickr, Gmail, and GoDaddy, exposed one of the pitfalls of living with personal information online and felt to many like a major violation of privacy. Perhaps, worst of all, it went undetected for more than two years. Fortunately, by now, most sites that were vulnerable to the Heartbleed bug have since patched it. While it's never really been clear which sites were exposed and which weren't, many internet companies have recommended updating your passwords. At any rate, it's always a good idea to occasionally update your login information. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. 
Nothing you do or say will ever reach the lofty heights attained by the following news summary. This is The Onion Week in Review. Facing increased market pressure and a shrinking bottom line, media company Star Trove was forced to lay off dozens of unskilled bloggers this week. Sources confirmed that before being dismissed, many of the bloggers had been with the company for months, regularly performing menial tasks such as describing celebrity outfits and composing quizzes about Disney characters. I mean, I've been with this company for almost a year. It wasn't the most rewarding job, and I didn't have health insurance, but... It paid the bills. I'm already 25 years old. I just don't know where to go from here. In other news, a six-day visit to a rural African village completely changes a woman's Facebook profile picture. A new dating website helps plus-size Jewish plane crash survivors find love. And a kid figures he'll go down the slide 36 more times and then call it a day. This is the Onion News Network. free. You can also call us on Skype. We're username lrn.fm on Skype. And if you haven't called us before, you're going to have to send a contact. We can do that uh, contact request. We can do that right during the show. Just uh, send the contact request, and then you can call us. And the Skype audio sounds awesome compared to the telephone. Now, we, of course, take you know legacy telephone calls at 855-450 free. Happy to do it. Happy to get you on, but, uh, you know, the Skype calls, although we don't have the ability to sort of put on multiple calls on hold, but it really right. sounds great. So, lrn.fm, that's his Liberty Radio Network.fm on Skype, or 855-450-FREE. Smark with you. And Daryl. The live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live. Yes, we are live. Yes, it is Sunday. And you can give us a call and talk about whatever is on your mind. What we have been talking about is... Sort of government regulations, waste, these kind of things. Um, reading a poll here from uh, Reason, I guess Rupe, I'm, Rup, I'm not sure uh, how to pronounce this, uh, the name of this, but it says here that Americans believe that 50 cents on every tax dollar is waste. Now, that's a pretty glaring indictment. If you were to say to your spouse or loved one, half of the things you do are worthless, you would be saying a pretty mean thing to that person, wouldn't you? Yes. But this is what the American government, excuse me, public believes about its government. And no one, like, I don't, I, I, I don't think anybody has sort of access to a place in their mind on how to solve a problem like this. Governments traditionally always are wasteful because they don't have competition in the traditional sense. The cost of, uh, of acquisition for a new government is very high. If you, for instance, believe that some other government, let's say Belize, I was recently down there, it's a tax haven, many Americans are moving down. Um, you know, they've got nice weather too. And things are cheap. If you think that the Belizean government is more efficient than the U.S. government, you have to weigh that against the costs of getting, uh, you know, selling your house, buying a house down there, getting your crap from one location to the next, um, travel to and from to visit other family and friends that might be in the United States. Um, there's a whole bunch of things that you sort of have to weigh this against. Now, companies attempt to move from state to state in order to see better cost of acquisition or cost uh, costs, but the U.S. federal government attempts to stop them from doing it. What was it? Boeing was trying to move from one um, location to another, I believe South Carolina or something, to, to take advantage of lower um, employment costs. Right, nope. because South Carolina is a uh, right-to-work state, meaning that there would be no forced union. And so then you know, politicians in South Carolina were lobbying really hard. Hey, come on down. We will give you things if yes. you come here. This is how bad we want you here. Now, I think that that giving things is uh, it's a real mess because I don't believe that a government should have the ability to entice a company to come to a given location at all. 
I think that that's wrong. I think it's completely immoral. What if yes. I don't want a com- that company to come there, but you're going to use my tax dollars to do it anyway? Because that doesn't serve me. It serves the interest of others. About five years ago, it, it might have been a little longer, the city of Birmingham, Alabama, where I'm from, closed down a shopping mall that I think really only had like one tenant left in it. And so they're like, you know, Hey, we're shutting down the mall, destroying the place. Oh, hey, Walmart, we know that you're just across the city limit line, but move this way three miles. We will give you this land. We will give you tax breaks. Here's a package worth $13 million to move three miles so that you're now in our city. Yeah. The, the tax breaks I f- have even more ambivalence on. So if uh, a co- you know a, a government wants to give a tax break to Walmart to come in, you can believe that if I open Mark's unique emporium, they're not going to give me any tax breaks at all. So I don't like that they give tax breaks to the big companies and they don't give them to the little ones. Um, they do create things like enterprise zones, which have you heard of these things? I have not. Okay, an enterprise zone might be a place in a particular municipality where they're trying to foster growth of businesses. Okay. So move into this, uh, you know, particularly downtrodden area, and we'll give you whatever tax benefits we give to anybody who moves in that area. I find that to be slightly better. But ultimately, um, you're just talking about organizations that claim monopoly privilege over land. They claim to own own it. Property taxes are... I mean, let's call it's them rent. They're, they're rent. Now, they, the property taxes is a nicer term for the old, um, you know, what what it used to be called in England when they, um, and, and even here in the United States, what the lords would collect are called quit rents. Quit rents. It's got the word rent right in it. You uh, basically the sovereign, the the king, the lord, the duke, whomever owns that piece of land upon which you, the serf till the soil or make your business or whatever, and you owe that person a certain amount of labor and a certain amount of the fruits of your labor every year, whether it's tobacco or wheat or whatever it was you were growing, you had to grow this stuff. And, you know, then you gave some of it to the Lord, then he'd do whatever he did with it to turn it into gold and, um, you know, go kill people with the, uh, the, the proceeds because that's what Lords did. It hasn't changed a lot. Um, our municipalities tend not to do that, but they do. Yeah, they they make these uh, prison farm things where they uh, make money off of people being incarcerated. It's not much better. Basically, a giant dungeon, and that's a real mess. So, I I, I have a real problem with municipalities and these trying to get businesses to come there, even with tax breaks. I think it's uh, it's it's just a it's it's just a mess. A place should be free, and that is to say that you shouldn't have to. You don't. You shouldn't have to pay anybody to, uh, you know, provide you goods and services that you don't want. You want roads that bring people there. You should pay for roads. You want roads to travel from one place to another. You should pay for roads. If you want, uh, you know, water to come to your location, you should pay for the water that comes there. You want trash pickup, you should pay for that. These th- these services you should pay for. But you know, here where I live, we don't have trash pickup in New Hampshire. We don't have professional firefighters where I live. We don't have a police. Uh, in my, we don't have a police officer in my town. None of this stuff. Somehow or another, life ticks on. Now, I can tell you, school is about 80% of the tax budget and it's extraordinarily expensive. A school that my six year old son doesn't go to because I don't, you know, at six years old, I get to decide where he goes to school. And I decided he's not going to go there to the government indoctrination center for, you know, ridiculously early in the morning. Um, I don't think that that's good for kids. Not the way I want to um, want my kid to be educated, but because I have different ideas, well, I've just got to pay for the other people's kids to go, and that's wrong. Well, Mark, because there's this thing called the uh, the contract, the social contract. Yeah, and well, that says that their government school is better you, than whatever school I might send my kid you, to. You live on Earth, uh-huh. and if you don't like the social contract on Earth. 
well, just build a rocket ship and go to another planet. Yeah, the funny thing about the social contract is, is in my town, there's only one monopoly school, but in other municipalities, they have charter schools. They have, uh, um, you know, other charter ways. schools are still paid for with tax dollars. I understand. But the, is the social? What does the social contract say about schools? Because I can tell you, in my town, I don't have any options. Whereas somebody in another municipality has a has more options with a charter school, right? Technically, they do have more options. So what does this social contract say? No one will lay it out here because I, I need to know what it says about schools. Well, because because here's what the social the- contract says. You do what the F we tell you to do with our land, and if you don't, we'll kick you out on your butt. You, your wife, and your stinking kid, too. We want you to pay for our kids to do what we want because you're our serf. That's the social contract. Call in and dispute it with me. I know you believe in the social contract. Your teachers told it to you. 855-450-FREE. Free Talk Live. That's 855-450-3733. If you believe in the social contract. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn It's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms. Join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power, a gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call one 800 68 62237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. 
This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Juicy Juice, 100% juice, providing a full serving of fruit in every four ounces. Visit us at JuicyJuice.com. When it comes to nutrition, kids need both fruits and vegetables every day to stay healthy and grow. For the ideal mix, your kid should have at least one and a half cups of any veggie or 100% veggie juice and one cup of any fruit or 100% fruit juice a day. For more tips like these, visit us at Parenthood.com slash Your Family Today. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. Free. You can give us a call and talk about whatever is on your mind on this live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live. It's Mark with you. And Daryl. 855-450-3733. So, Daryl, we've been talking here this evening about uh, government inefficiency, those kind of things. Those tend to be concerns of uh, folks that believe in the ideas of liberty. Yes. I don't know whether they're libertarians or you know, some people, some of these people call themselves conservatives. Some of them, um, you know, they use a variety of voluntarists, a variety of different names to describe themselves, people that have a concern in this area. But there was an idea. I think it was in 2001 that this idea came, was uh, first yes. trotted out. The idea of the Free State Project. And the idea was to get 20,000 liberty-loving individuals to move to one smaller state that, um, and then that point sort of affect whatever they were going to affect in that state, how, whatever, that would, whatever would happen. Now, New Hampshire was picked, I believe, in 2004, 2005? Uh, either late 03 or early 04. Okay. And we moved, um, in New, Ian and I, the um, main hosts here of Free Talk Live, moved in uh, mid-2006. We were the, I believe, I'm looking at the wall here, 160th, 161st movers. Yes. And that means only 160, 59 people had moved before us. But now there are more than 1,500 in state. And it's had an incredible effect. New Hampshire has essentially this uh, the, this holy grail of uh, the liberty movement. And many people don't know about it or care about it, but it's really incredibly important, which is the libertarian veto. The New Hampshire Liberty Alliance, which is an organization that rates every legislator based on their uh, voting patterns uh, around the ideas of liberty. That's not happening in your state. I know that because it doesn't happen in any other state besides New Hampshire. Right, because the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance only focuses on New Hampshire. Right, but no other state has you – know, they, they don't have enough activists um, that care enough to do something like this. New, New Hampshire has enough, and we have 80 – members of the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance and to be a rep, a representative or um, senator or whatever that's a member or whatever, endorsed, I guess, is the right terminology. You have to be have an 80 percent or higher voting record on their list and their list concerns the ideas of liberty. And it's pretty good. Not perfect every time, but it's pretty good. Sometimes I wish they'd pick different bills. Um, for instance, they uh, they're, they're a little sketchy on the death penalty, and I don't I haven't liked that historically. I think they're better this year, though. Yeah. Well, one thing that I've noticed is they don't rank every bill that had a roll call vote. They pick and choose the bills to rank. Yes, and the, in that picking and choosing is what they moves them from perfect to great. And I'd say they're great. I would not say they're perfect. And you know that needs to be addressed. And they certainly marginalize some of the uh, more you know left libertarian types, and that's not okay. But we're getting better, and we could use your help. Now, there's 80 members that have this 80% or higher endorsement. That gives that means that of the 400 members of the New Hampshire House that are paid $100 a year, yes, these are all stunning pieces of information I'm giving you, um, that you need that 80% basically to pass almost any bill. It's very difficult to pass that bill over the heads of either the liberals or the conservatives and the libertarians. And very few bills go that way. So the libertarian veto in place here in New Hampshire and 
you know, we're also the Liberty Media capital of the world, and there's lots of other types of activism going on here in New Hampshire. Your type is going on, too, including the Porcupine Freedom Festival, where you can come and party with and hang out with um, probably somewhere between 1,500 and 2,000 liberty-loving activists in the woods of New Hampshire for a week in June, coming up June 22nd to 29th. It's always a great time. You should come out to Porkfest. That's P-O-R-C-F-E-S-T dot com. That's pork as in porcupine, not pork as in the flesh of pigs. Um, There's one of those in New Hampshire as well. Is there a pork fest in New Hampshire? Yes. I heard it advertised on radio in Manchester about a year ago. Awesome. I'm sure that's good, too. But um, the the fact is, is that uh, we, the Free State Project, have used the porcupine as our um, motto because this is a relatively benign animal, unless you're a farmer, um, and (laughs) who uh, won't mess with you unless you mess with it. And when you do mess with it, you could get a face full of quills. So it's porkfest.com to sign up for the Porcupine Freedom Festival or freestateproject.org to sign up for the Free State Project. And I encourage you to do that if you uh, believe in the ideas of liberty. So we've been reading this uh, this poll here, and I think it's uh, it's really stunning. Um, apparently, only 17% of Americans think that their income taxes do more to improve society than if they gave that money to businesses or charities. So, Mark, during the last segment, the topic of the social contract... Yes. Came up. I asked anybody to call in at 855 450 free to defend this social contract. And, the and new, I've never heard a really good defense of this. The New Hampshire Constitution actually voids the social contract. How is that? Tell me about that. Part 1, Article 3. All right. Says that when men enter into a society, they surrender some of their natural rights to that society. That sounds like the social in contract. In order to ensure the protection of others. Without such equivalent, the surrender is void. So um, if it's not protecting others? It voids the social contract (laughs) because courts have consistently ruled that the state has no obligation to protect you. That is... Absent the protection, the surrender is void. Social contract is void according to the New Hampshire Constitution in the state of New Hampshire. Fascinating. You know, I can't argue with what you say. We've uh, we've we've read time and again. Um, just go ahead and Google. If you don't believe this for a second, um, go ahead and Google. No obligation to protect, and you will come up with several Supreme Court rulings that say no. The government has no obligation to protect you. Now, I would remind you what a citizen is. A citizen is a person who owes a duty of allegiance in exchange for an obligation of protection. Now, if there's no obligation to protect you, you aren't a citizen. I wonder what you are if you're not a citizen. Well, I can tell you that many of the older... uh, Massachusetts calls you a subject. Yeah, that's what you are. You're a subject. You're a subject of the U.S. government, and this has been, you know, many times the treaties. Treaties, by the way, which are part of the U.S. Constitution, I believe, is the... uh, is the the wording is, is that any treaty becomes part of the Constitution. Yes. So these treaties are ratified, and they use the terminology "subject" in their line. They just use "citizen" as a uh, uh, as a placeholder for the term "subject," but they have no obligation to protect you. So therefore, you're not a citizen by their definition. Nobody is anywhere in the world. I mean, what government really has the obligation to protect you? If they had that obligation, if your house was burglarized, the police would have to cut you a check. Now, if you had a um, you could make a contract with some home protection company that said, hey, if my house is burglarized, you've got to cut me a check. You can certainly do that with an insurance company. And maybe the insurance company would give you some money off if you had the home protection um, set, uh, set up. But the government's not going to do anything like that for you because they have no obligation to protect you. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, but, the but, New Hampshire Constitution refers to us as subjects as well. Yeah. So make sure you get your flags out for the Independence Day because, well, you're free citizens. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Springtime is save big time at Herbal Healer Academy. Long-term customers know spring is the time to stock up at HerbalHealer.com. And for new customers, welcome to the web's best place to save on vitamins, minerals, and more. Log on for spring specials, including our 500 parts per million colloidal silver, all sizes on sale. 
Choose from Herbal Healer's great variety of weight loss products like apple cider vinegar, hoodia and metabolic complex, and pro-metabolic, all on sale now. Also, the anti-parasite intestinal freedom and Warwood Plus Complex, plus stevia liquid sweetener and the super enzymes, all on sale for spring at HerbalHealer.com. As always, we offer certificate correspondence courses in natural medicine. Enjoy same-day shipping and free online newsletter. Log on now to HerbalHealer.com and click on Spring Specials to save big with our nation's leader in supplying quality natural medicine and education since 1988, Herbal Healer Academy. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp dot free talk live dot com if you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate well i know a guy who's really great it's the realtor mark warden do you want a home with 20 acres a lakeside cabin any takers for renters buyers and sellers too mark warden is the guy for you PorcupineRealEstate.com You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Mere days before his upcoming relocation to Denver, Colorado, four-year Chicago resident Paul Marston admitted today that he wished he had taken a little more time to truly loathe the city he has lived in for nearly half a decade. You know, I've been here for a couple years, but now that I'm finally leaving, I realize I never really got to hate this place. Marsden confirmed that in the time he's lived in the city, he never quite managed to explore his own shitty neighborhood, adding that he regrets never getting to know the stuck-up workers at the cafe down the block, never visiting the overpriced bodega on his corner, and never becoming violently ill from the food at the crappy Mexican place across the street from him. You know, I lived right next to that bar for four years, and I just wish I took more time to abhor the disgusting smell that hits you every time you walk by. I'd always heard this place blows. I guess it's a shame I never got to hate it like I should. For more on this story, check this week's Onion Review. This is the Onion News Network. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Call in with whatever's on your mind here on the live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live with Mark. And Daryl. 855-450-3733. Or call us on Skype. Our username's lrn.fm. And uh, actually, let's go to the uh, Skype lines. we got Nathan calling in from, I believe... Texas. Nathan, you're Afternoon. on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Afternoon, Mark. How are you? Yeah, well, it's uh, evening here. I'm well. There was a Star Trek episode which uh, was in my mind recently. It involved a federal government threatening violence against farmers because they wouldn't hand over their leased equipment. 
least equipment. Huh, there was a federal government in Star Trek? Well, the federal government of the planet Bajor on DS9, but I think it's uh, it's easier if I just call them the federal government when they're actually a planetary government. So this kind of uh, this harkens to the situation with uh, that's out in Nevada right now, or recently. Clive and Bundy. Yeah, the Bundy situation. And, uh, you know, I mean, a lot of people don't seem to have much sympathy for, for Cliven because of the what they believe the situation surrounding the property is. So, you know, he was, as far as they're concerned, he was leasing the land from the Bureau of Land Management and refused to pay his lease. So the Bureau of Land Management wasn't letting him uh, use the land. This isn't in, this is not the way they understand this. Bureau of Land Management didn't come around until the 80s, at least in this situation. I don't know when they were created. And these guys had rights to this land since the 1850s. Their family and uh, the people you know involved had uh, rights since the 1850s. This was their land. The Bureau of Land Management was going to get a management fee, but they didn't feel that they were managing it. So what do you do when some contractor that's working for you isn't doing what they said they were told to do? Now, um, in this case, yeah, this isn't rented land. This is their land. Um, well, the th- this is a mafia coming in and saying, yeah, we run this turf now. You got to give us protection monies. Well, it's interesting that it's not an identical situation in this episode, uh, which is called Shakar, I believe. But it's uh, it, it's similar in a lot of ways because, you know, you have I mean, even uh, like she, the president presidential figure threat says, you know, we need to send in the troops because otherwise we might have anarchy. And uh, what struck me about the episode going back and rewatching it is how sympathetic they are to the uh, the farmers in in during the whole show. Everyone's kind of acting like, well, you know, why are you threatening violence against these these innocent people? You know, it's, uh, you know, like, why are you willing to shoot people over over the least equipment and, you know, that sort of thing? And I didn't get that as much of that an, an impression on this Bundy thing. You know, when um, I, I, Star Trek is this, the most notoriously socialist uh, show out there. Um, I mean, it, they're just, you know, it's, it's just full on. They don't even have money. Somehow or another, society rolls on in the Star Trek world and they don't have a medium of exchange. Maybe dilithium crystals. Um, I don't know exactly how those well in, in in the original Star Trek they didn't have money in the next generation I think they do but only when in Deep Space Nine um, so when I don't I didn't see any money in, in next generation um, I watched a lot of those at least I didn't notice it but in Deep Space Nine they have these uh, um, these I, I can't remember because what what Kazaris what what are the names of the uh, people with the bad teeth and the giant ears. Uh, the Ferengi. Ferengi, that's right. Um, the Ferengi are these sort of greedy. Um, that's the guy that runs the bar. The the guy who runs the bar now. And presumably, people must pay to use the facilities in the bar. Yeah, you get that impression. I'm not exactly sure how these people who um, you know work for the, fe- the the Federation, who don't appear to get paid any place else or have money to do anything else, because well, frankly, they can just whip it up out of uh, the replicator in the wall. Um, I'm not sure how they pay the guy at the bar. Um, I never saw anybody paying Whoopi Goldberg on the next generation at the bar. And so, you know, it's it's I, here's the thing. When, when you're talking about rented equipment, how long do I have to rent a piece of equipment to you before you refusing to pay for it is just? I mean, do well, you I think I've rented the same piece of equipment for two years running and then suddenly it becomes yours. I think in the actual episode, it was just for a term of one year. But what's really what's really interesting to me is the resolution. It, it's a peaceful resolution, kind okay. of like the actual Bundy Ranch situation. But um, in in the episode, what they actually do is they go to the politician who is going to order the violent force, and they say, "Look, if this gets out that you were willing to shoot people over, you know, machines, then you'll lose the election." And she says, "Okay, well, I guess I won't run then." Won't run because she's going to shoot the people. No, no, she won't run because if, if the media, if the word gets out that she was willing to uh, initiate a violent confrontation over leased equipment, then that would ruin her reputation. Yeah. Well, that's the but, that's more of the fantasy world of Star Trek because, um, you know, in the real well, world, you see, what a I, politician but, uh, decides that, they're, um, that something's going to negatively affect their run, they're just going to spin the news. 
Well, you see, what I think is that this episode, the writers of it have a certain optimistic view of, of how government works. Like in yeah. their view, in the, the, the way the bunny situation kind of should resolve in an ideal government is, oh, well, you know, the politician who was threatening to use violence against innocent farmers, you know, they, they realize that people are against them and they just give up or resign. I think that's the attitude that the writers of this episode had. Yeah, I, I think that the writers of uh, most of the episodes of Star Trek um, are indoctrinated to have a very optimistic view of government. They think that all in all, it'll it'll all come out in the end. I mean, as evidenced by the Federation. Um, I mean, this is <laughs> the the it's the epitome of big government and working well. And I haven't seen that happen too darn often in my life. I, I you know, no one seems to have be anti-government in, in Star Trek. Star Wars, on the other hand, government is, uh, you know, is what government, what I see government as, this uh, giant, monolithic, dangerous, evil organization. And most, and a lot of people, you know, they, they cheer it on. They say, yay, yay. You know, those that benefit from it are cheering it on and say, you know, this is how, this is how freedom dies to the, to much applause, I believe is one of the lines or something do you, do like that. Do you think if, do you think if the, um, if the Bundy confrontation had come to violence, do you think most people would have just, you know, shrugged and taken the government side? Probably. I don't know the answer to that. I think a lot of uh, what the Bundy situation seemed to come down to, um, from what I was seeing was, Republicans supporting Bundy and, um, you know, because they don't like Obama, like they already hate him so much. There's always already so much momentum behind him that, or, you know, against him that essentially anything that any of his uh, bureaus do, does is his fault. Now, I don't know whether this is the, you know, the, the small percentage of, of people that really are racist against Obama. I don't believe that. I think that they um, to some extent we've learned from things like Ruby Ridge and Waco. That, you know, these people aren't qualified to decide what's going on in any given circumstance. Plus, the Bundys have done a reasonably good job of communicating. Um, I'm really concerned, though. It's my understanding there were some guns pointed at some federal government agents, and I don't think they take very lightly to that. There was a situation that happened a few years ago here in New Hampshire, um, Ed and Elaine Brown. Um, I, I can't remember the town that it happened in. It's been some time. But Ed and you can look it up. You get all the facts. But well, there was one guy who, um, you know, went to jail for the rest of his life. He's never getting out because he made a, th a couple of threatening videos and possessed a gun. I don't even think at the same time. Like he didn't have the gun in the threatening video, but he did have a gun at some point while he was out there. And there were certainly some armed people out at Ed and Elaine Brown's house. The feds. So nothing in. worse. Nothing worse than what Adam Kokesh did. Um. Yeah, I guess I guess that that's uh, Adam Kokesh made veiled threats. Um, this guy made direct th direct threats. <laughs> you know, come here and you'll get shot, kind of threats. But I I think one thing that Clive and Bundy had going for him was his statement of if you show up, please do not bring your w rifles. If you bring them, keep them in your vehicles. Yes, don't wear camo. But just because you showed up doesn't mean you're anonymous. So I don't know. Anyway, Nathan, thanks for the call. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Everybody wants to know, what can you buy with Bitcoins? Isn't there like a Bitcoin general store or something? Well, yes, now there is. And it's at BitcoinGeneralStore.com. BitBrew and the Bees Brothers have teamed up to create a place where U.S. customers in the lower 48 can shop for, well, anything with free shipping. What can you find at BitcoinGeneralStore.com? Bitcoin apparel, stickers, gifts, precious metals, physical Bitcoins, coffee and honey, of course, and electronics and computer accessories. The folks at Bitcoin General Store are true Bitcoin believers who don't even use third-party payment processors. They get their inventory direct <laughs> with Bitcoin and pass on the savings to you. Shop at BitcoinGeneralStore.com with confidence that you are supporting a real Bitcoin economy. you got to see what they have to offer. Visit BitcoinGeneralStore.com today. That's BitcoinGeneralStore.com. For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy. So you may know a few things about him. 
For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products, most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey guy. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Aren't you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Well, stop using their money. There's an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. And by using their money, you're helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it. Use it. Spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Talk Live, 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. You can call in with whatever is on your mind here on the live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live with Mark. And Daryl. 855-450-3733. Daryl, you know, it's slipping my mind. What was that next piece of uh, uh, copy that you had here? Uh, it's a story about the heartbleed bug and ways to protect your privacy online. Right, this heartbleed bug is a big deal right now. Um, I mean, yeah. It's supposedly the largest security breach we've faced in a decade. Ever? Yeah. Um, like, the Y2K bug was supposed to be some big deal. And mostly they handled it. It didn't turn out to the be The Y2K anything. bug did not allow your information to be stolen from the internet for two years. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, pretty pretty concerning. That's a big deal, and I think that this heartbleed thing is uh, hopefully it's on people's mind. This is uh, you know this is the biggest piece of news going on out there. Um, another big piece of news: bitcoins. You're hearing about them all over in the news. A lot of you don't know how to get them. Well, here's how I'm going to tell you how: cashintocoins.com. Now, cashintocoins.com has been around in in the Bitcoin world quite some time. I think they've been around for about a year. There's going to be some big and big changes coming about, big announcement coming from cashintocoins.com. But if you go there, you can get bitcoins. It's easy. Their instructions are they're clear. 
It's safe, it's fast, it's legal, it's inexpensive, and customer service is their top priority. Every time I've dealt with them, and I have dealt with them extensively, I've bought both bought and sold to Cash and the Coins, and I can tell you, I trust these guys. I'm comfortable with it. All you got to do is use a money order, check, or wire transfer. Send them the money. They'll send you the Bitcoins. Their rates are great. You can donate half your fee to charity. As always, uh, cash orders, excuse me, orders under $40 have no fee at all. If you just want to get in and try Bitcoins, just get in and try Bitcoins. Just buy $40 worth of Bitcoins because then you can get in. You'll be an early adopter because it's if it isn't Bitcoins, it's going to be some online probably cryptographic currency it would likely it would have to be cryptographic currency and bitcoin is the it's the leader in that market by a long shot um i think it's going to be the uh, the next big thing but you know that's my opinion if you want to get in cash into coins.com bitcoin certainly has some had dramatic rises much larger than most uh um mo most stocks out there cash into coins.com so the article that I have here is from the International Business Times, and it says, in the aftermath of one of the biggest security breaches the Internet has ever seen, web users are scrambling to determine whether their online accounts are affected and if they should act on it. Earlier in the week, which actually I guess technically last week, Experts uncovered the Heartbleed bug, a massive security flaw in the open SSL software. Now, how long had this thing been going on? Two years. Two years. And then they just, just... Uh, just discovered it last week. Now, I heard on the interwebs, um, I didn't really, I don't know anything more than what I'm saying, is that the NSA was exploiting, exploiting Heartbleed for its purposes. Now, does that mean that Heartbleed is a... Government creation? Not necessarily. Okay. It could have been something that the government asked the open SSL creator to put in. That's, as far as I'm concerned, a government creation. Okay. It could be. Okay. We, we don't really know. All right. So open SSL was a software or is a software that is used to encrypt online communications and because of the security flaw, it possibly put hundreds of thousands of web and email servers into the hands of hackers. The Heartbleed bug tricks servers running OpenSSL into revealing decryption keys stored on a server's memory. With these keys, hackers can intercept sensitive information such as passwords or credit card numbers. So this is the HTTPS page that's supposed to be secure when I go on my bank um, or whatever? I'm not, not necessarily. Okay. Not all sites that are running on a secured server were running OpenSSL. Open SSL. But a, a site that was using OpenSSL, when it was saying HTTPS, it wasn't S. Right. Necessarily. Okay. So but we haven't heard huge stories about all kinds of information getting out either. It's a the the fact that there might be a a a chink in your armor doesn't mean that somebody slides a knife in it, right? Right. Okay. So that's why it says possibly. Yeah. The Heartbleed bug, which may have compromised such high-profile servers as Tumblr, Yahoo, Flickr, Gmail, and GoDaddy. No big deal. Exposed one of the pitfalls of living with personal information online, and many felt like a major violation of their privacy. Perhaps, worst of all, it went undetected for more than two years. Fortunately, by now, most sites that were vulnerable to the Heartbleed bug have since patched it. While it's never really been clear which sites were exposed and which weren't, Many internet companies have recommended updating your passwords, and at any rate, it's always good to regularly update your login information. So, how should one make a password? They now yeah, this is provide what I seven tips for creating stronger, harder to crack passwords. All right. And I think that this is really good information. Don't use personal information your name birthday 
hometown, or other information that can be easily discovered about you by a quick social media search should not be in your password. Okay. This means don't make it Jane, Ohio, Jim, May 12th. Mm -hmm. You know, Mark Edge Free Talk Live is not a good password. I know. It's a username, though. (laughs) Wouldn't make a good username. Yep. But some people will use the username as the password. Well, they'll just write password. Yes. And that actually takes us to the second thing on the list. Because I have a system that I use, and I just want to see how good that system is. Add special characters, numbers, and punctuation. Okay. The most popular passwords. Still, in 2014, you know... 20 some odd years of internet, the most popular passwords are still 123456 and password. Oh boy. Only a bird brain, this according to IB Times, only a bird brain would think he's safe from hackers with a password like that. Yeah, there's going to be a certain amount of passwords that are going to be uh, used, uh, you know, like tested right away. Yes. Because basically, if you could. Go to somebody's bank account. Um, if you can get online to their bank account, just set some kind of bot up to one test, one 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 test these numbers. There's no reason why you shouldn't do that. So you know everybody, you just test every. These things can be done in a blink of an eye. They can do a million of these things in a moment. Um, I, I don't know. I'm exaggerating, perhaps. But if you can set up a computer that it, you know just tests every email account and every password you know and just the word password with yeah. every one of these things over and over again you know at some point or another ching money rolls out of the uh the slot machine the more special characters numbers and random punctuations you have in your password the more difficult it is for someone to guess it get as many of them as you can and now the article decided to refresh itself in mid sentence now, um, you know, I, I just wonder about uh, these punctuation things. You know, oftentimes uh, websites will want you to uh, put in capital letters, lowercase letters, numbers, punctuation, things like that. <clears throat> Isn't it at some point just getting out of hand? It is. But he- here's what they say. Put them randomly in the password. Okay. So instead of Mark Edge apostrophe free talk live yeah just like throw it in after the m a apostrophe r underscore so the example that they show here is the word blossom with an underscore seven after the o and before the two s's so b l o underscore seven yeah s s o m pound sign nine Sometimes they want you to have uh, two numbers, though. There are two numbers. Oh, the pound There's a nine. seven yeah. and a nine. I see. But they're not back to back. Gotcha. And we've got five others, and I think that these are pretty good. Yeah, so. I think that that's a real, relatively good system, but um, I wonder about replicatability. So I want to talk to you about that. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733 here on the live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live. Geico presents Fan Mail to a Pig. Dear Maxwell, I just want to say thank you for making my Geico Insurance ID card digital. It's easy to find on the app. It doesn't give me paper cuts, and I always have it on hand because it's on my phone. Because of this, I finally cleaned out my glove box, which was filled with years of paper ID cards. Any thought on what I should put in my glove box now? Sincerely, Trent Patterson. Hmm, Trent, what can you put in the glove box? Here's a crazy thought. How about gloves? Digital insurance ID cards. Just a tap away on the Geico app. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? 
At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates. Online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, April 11th, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,322, silver opened at $20.06, and Bitcoin is trading at $427.78. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Voice and Exit, maximizing human flourishing through radical innovation. Tickets on sale now. Get 10% off with promo code FREEDOM, June 21st at Austin Music Hall. Get yours at voiceandexit.com. Support also comes from Dorothy Erminger at Capstar Lending. For your residential mortgage needs, call Dorothy, 512-343-6494, or apply online at calldorothy.com, NMLS 216-624. Support also comes from My Magic Mud, all-natural teeth whitener. Go to mymagicmud.com to hear a short interview with Dr. Griffin Cole. That's mymagicmud.com. In the news today, Health and Human Services Secretary Kathleen Sebelius is resigning. Her resignation comes after she helped to oversee the disastrous rollout of both Obamacare itself and the accompanying website. Reuters reports Sebelius' departure removes a key target for critics as the president and his fellow Democrats try to retain control of the Senate in November midterm elections. A 30-year-old production assistant for TV's Tosh.0 is dead, shot to death by the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. The Los Angeles Times reports officers mistook John Winkler as a suspect in a stabbing. That came as Winkler went into a neighboring apartment in an attempt to help three occupants who were being held at night point. As he fled with one of the victims, shots were fired, leaving Winkler dead. The actual 27-year-old suspect was caught later. Beginning April 15th, Google will begin taking online orders for its controversial device, Google Glass. The glasses allow users to interact with their environment and will be sold around $1,500. While wearing the gadget, viewers will receive publicly available information. Critics of the tool believe it violates the privacy of individuals who may not want their details released publicly. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Brave New Books, now offering pro-pure water filtration the only gravity-driven all-in-one fluoride removal system that also alkalizes the water. Find them in Austin, 1904 Guadalupe Street, or online, bravenewbookstore.com. Support also comes from Mass Appeal, affordable, high-quality printing, now accepting Bitcoin, online, massappeallink.com. And support comes from growyourowngroceries.org, homegrown food on every table. That's growyourowngroceries.org. This is the Liberty Beat. For Friday, April 11, 2014, check out the website, thelibertybeat.com. Lieutenant Ben Coleman of the Chief of Naval Operations Rapid Innovation Cell has hinted at the possibility of 3D printers aboard naval ships. Speaking at Sea Air Space 2014, the lieutenant discussed the Army's use of 3D printers in combat and what it will take to put a printer into action while at sea. Navy officials imagine a future where 3D printed organs could be created on Navy ships. A recently released statement from indigenous communities in southern Mexico condemns the destruction of communal land and attacks by the government that have stemmed from the construction of new wind farms. The communities state that the projects are expected to produce between 5,000 and 10,000 megawatts in wind energy, but will only benefit international corporations such as Walmart and Heineken. Dubious honors this week for the Department of Justice and the White House Press Office. Both are the top recipients of the annual Jefferson Muzzle Award, 
presented by the Thomas Jefferson Center for the Protection of Free Expression. The organization explains the award is a means to draw national attention to abridgments of free speech and press, and at the same time, foster an appreciation for those tenets of the First Amendment. The award has been handed out every year since 1992. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Bitmain Technology, creators of the Antminer S1 180 Gigahash Bitcoin Miner. No pre-order, ships on time, and sometimes it's early. Buy yours today at bitmaintech.com. And support comes from Affordable Sound, CD and DVD duplication, along with posters and promotions materials, online at affordablesound.com. Or you can call them, 512-459-5253. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, April 11th, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. According to a new report released this week by the Pew Research Center, a rising number of weak, emasculated men are working as stay-at-home dads, with a steadily increasing number of feeble, pathetic fayboys choosing to spend their days cooking, cleaning, and performing other submissive duties. Well, our findings indicate that more and more pussified half-men are not going to work and instead are embarrassing themselves by purchasing groceries, packing children's lunches, and denying all aspects of their masculinity on a daily basis. The Onion spoke to one of these effete, pathetic excuses for men to get his response on the new report. I love being able to stay home with Angela. I mean, it's a lot of work, but I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. What a f***ing pussy. For more on this story, check this week's Onion Review. is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. That last word is free, as in Free Talk Live. And... You know, a lot of phones, they don't just don't have the letters on them anymore. So 855-450-3733. Or you can call us on Skype. Our username's lrn.fm. That's LRN as in Liberty Radio Network. It's me, Mark. And Daryl. Live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live. You can call in and talk about what is ever on your mind. We were talking about in the last segment this, uh, this heart bleed, heart bleed uh, vulnerability is got a lot of people talking about uh, computer safety. Yes. And there are some ways that you can sort of set up a practice around how you create passwords. I know you've been using that same password, you know, your kid's name with uh, a number behind it for a long time. Or maybe your pet. You got a pet. No. Fluffy. 09. That thing. That is a bad, bad password and we're trying to give you some ideas on how to make it better some things that you can do to to make it better now i also want to tell you about the the cam at cam.freetalklive.com we have been uh, um, we've been taking the cam footage and putting it up online on our youtube channel so you can see free talk live in its entirety on youtube we take the whole thing and put it up there so the folks can do whatever they want with it it is um i guess that's at uh I don't know. Look for us on YouTube. Search Free Talk Live. Can't remember what our uh, user account name is off the top of my head. Uh, I believe it's YouTube.FreeTalkLive.com. We'll we take you that. to that. We often do things like that. Um, so YouTube.FreeTalkLive.com. Good. So go ahead, Daryl. Tell us the other ways that we can create secure passwords. Well, for anybody that missed the first two, let me repeat those. Don't use personal information. So don't have your name and then the city or state that you live in. That's not a good password. Add special characters, numbers, and punctuation, but do so randomly in the middle of the word. So, for example, if you've got Blossom and you need to add a couple of numbers... And special characters put a special character and a number in the middle of the word. So, for example, B-L-O underscore number seven 
S S O M pound nine. Yeah, I, I think that there's not a bad idea to using the um uh the the what are the punctuation in in this, but I think I have a better system. And somebody who I in this area have a great deal of respect for has just called in, and I'm interested in what he has to say on the subject too. Uh, Dennis calling in from Concord. Dennis, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey guys, so with with respect to uh, passwords being very crackable, you were talking earlier about you know being able to crack your passwords in the blink of an eye. There are actually um, online um, special files called rainbow files. Are you familiar with the idea of rainbow tables or rainbow files? Well, if I'm, uh, I am not, but if uh, even if I was, I would still tell you to explain them because uh, people who are listening are not. So, so basically what they do is you, know, you, you get a, a password and then it gets stored in the computer encrypted, in an encrypted format. And what people have done is taken every possible decryption of, or every possible encryption um, of slews and slews of common password names and just put them into giant files, which makes it blindingly fast to, to brute force guess a gazillion different passwords. They, they don't even have to be, uh, you know. That's frightening, but let me ask you this, Dennis. I mean, that's that's petrifying, but let me ask you this. Um, you know, most of these, most of the passwords that people use are online passwords, so to their bank or, um, you know, website or email or something like that. Those things, if you try too many, you know, if you try blindingly fast a million things, it's going to stop at three or five or whatever and tell you that uh, you're going to have to reset your password and, you know, go through some... Uh, some kind of rigmarole to, to get back in, right? Yeah, yeah. So this only those are only going to work on getting into your Wi-Fi uh, box or something that's sort of offline. So if you have something encrypted, an encrypted file on your um, computer, or you have uh, you know Wi-Fi password or something like that, they can crack those babies and um, once they put a black box on them and just wham, um, and smack them right open. But an online password's relatively safe, isn't it? So, no, I mean, online okay. passwords are, are, are never particularly safe. But a, a really good, like, method, I don't know if this is going to be in Daryl's list, but a really good method that I like to use okay. is to take a, a sentence or a phrase, um, something that, you know, sticks in your head that you'll always remember. Maybe if you're, if you're very highbrow, you might do a little bit of something from Shakespeare. And, yeah. And, you know, something like... Uh, 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 what it, light through it, it on is, yonder window breaks? It is the dawn. Right, there you go. What light through yon window breaks? And then just take the first letter of each word. So W, L, T, Y, W, B. And now you've got this completely non-word that is super easy to remember. What light through yon window breaks? Type all the first letters. And then just spruce that up, adding a, an occasional like exclamation point, like what light, question mark. So W, L, question mark, through... Yon window breaks, exclamation point, yep. right? And now you've got something that's never going to be in any table or any file um, and is effectively totally random and, and unguessable, but very easy to remember. So that's a little trick that I, I just love to use. So that, that's actually one of the things that is on this list. <laughs> now I have a trick that uh, that I've heard elsewhere, and I think that this is um, you know it, it's possible that uh, this might work out. Um, I've taken an iteration of this um, that uh, you know for myself because I didn't you know if if somebody's giving this advice, it's just too common. But you pick your favorite radio station. Um, it's going to have generally four uh, digit four four numbers and four letters. And then you take some, um, you know, random, uh, you know, web things off the website you're you're at for your website. So it's for your for your password. So if, for instance, your password is for Gmail, and you would take, you know, whatever your radio favorite radio station is, um, you know, what's coming to mind for me is uh, K Rock. Um, I don't. I think it's one hundred four point one. So you you do you use one hundred four point one. K Rock, and then you add at the end um, capital letters from Gmail. Say you use the first and the third letters of uh, Gmail, and then so you've got the G and the A, and you've got that capitalized at the end. And here you have this password that changes for every single website that you're on, and it's going to be very pretty difficult for people. I mean, they're not going to likely pick 
a radio station. And by the way, if you have a favorite, if your favorite radio station is a big one like K Rock, perhaps you should pick one less like less known. But um, you know that I thought was a pretty interesting system. Word. Oh, by the way, you guys were talking about. I know there's there's, there's conspiracy theorists out there. I know. But I did see uh, an interview with a guy who um, approved the change to OpenSSL that resulted in this security flaw. And I've, I've reviewed the change myself, and I think it's, it's you know, the, the guy in the interview, he said that it was completely just like, you know, he owned up to it, like, yep, don't head maneuver, I missed it. You know, okay. and so look, looking at that change, I can honestly say it, it's something that anyone could do. Like if you're not if you're not thinking at that time, and I, I don't particularly like the open SSL, um, like that aspect of the um, of, of the protocol where the client has to tell you how long a string is. That's always just fraught. Um, those clients are evil and sneaky. Will try to deceive you with server people, but you know it, 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 it's not. I, I don't believe in any way that this is like some nefarious NSA thing. I'm sure that if NSA knew about it, and probably they did, they'd be more than happy to exploit it. But I don't think this was a case of injecting bad things into the code. It was just simple human failure. Okay. Well, I you know if if you if you say it, I'm I'm tend to believe it, Dennis. Um, I know that uh, you know this is what you do for a living. Um, more than 60 hours a week, so uh, chances are good that you're right. Now, I want to make sure that people know that OpenSSL is in no way associated with OpenVPN, which is what ProXP, one of the choices that ProXPN, the sponsor of our phone lines, uh, you know, gives us for encryption for the VPN service. Dennis, thank you for the call. 855-450 free, free talk live. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact and helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top one percent arabica grade and and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com Again, the Congressional Budget Office sounds the alarm, this time warns of Greek-style U.S. debt crises. You heard me right. The GAO is drawing a parallel between the U.S. economy, its debt, and the current Greek economic meltdown. With the debt-to-GDP chart climbing into unfamiliar territory, the growing budget deficit will rise to unsupportable levels. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. The Federal Debt and Risk of Financial Crises document the CBO has published is a must-read for every American, covering the risk of continued deficit spending coupled with an aging population and the rising interest rates spell economic disaster. It's imperative that you get a copy of this document and study it for yourself. Call me today at 800-686-2237 and I'll send you a free copy. Again, call 800-686-2237 and ask for your copy of the CBO document. Once again, you need to read this government report. Call 800-686-2237. No, she actually, she was like, oh, I think. The Shire Free Church offers a sanctuary to those seeking an escape from state churches. The Shire Free Church is an interfaith, diverse group of people that may not share identical theological beliefs. As a member in or minister of the Shire Free Church, you are a sovereign individual and may be the faith of your choice. We don't claim to have all of the answers. We are open to all peaceful people. We want to learn from each other. What unifies the Shire Free Church and its diverse members is peace, love, and liberty. There are many paths to God, one for every individual. The Shire Free Church does not define a specific path beyond those parameters that must be your foundation. Peace as your way, love as your guide, and liberty as your light. 
Learn more at church.shiresociety.com. That's church.shiresociety.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Are you looking for camping, hunting, survival, or shooting gear? ManVentureOutpost.com carries the name brands you want at the lowest prices. Ammunition, knives, firearm accessories, archery, air guns, scopes, binoculars, laser sights, tactical flashlights, fish finders, and boating equipment. ManVentureOutpost.com is family owned and has the lowest prices. Go check it for yourself. Get it quick. Get it from ManVentureOutpost.com. Now buy firearms at ManVentureOutpost.com. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. Five four fifty three. That's eight five five four five zero three seven three three. You can call in and talk about whatever is on your mind here on the live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live with Mark and Daryl. Eight five five four five zero three seven three three. We've been talking about ways that you you know this heart bleed thing's got people pretty concerned about computer secrecy, not to mention the NSA and those sorts of things. Now, we we have uh, ProXPN brings you your our phone lines, 855-450-FREE. That's a great way to increase your online um, security. But another way is to have good passwords. And, Daryl, we've been uh, talking about ways to have good passwords. Yes. So, go on. So, the next one on the list is to invert your password. Invert it. You turn it upside down? No, no. So there's a company called Tech2, and they recommend making your password more complicated by flipping a password you've already created and putting it on the end. What? So what's on the end? The let, Let's just say, for example, and they have something here as an example, S-N-A underscore one L three. What the hell is that? And then you would invert that. It's just a random string of numbers and See, letters. I hate this crap. And I'm so, sorry. Hold on. I, think I consider this to be bad advice. Hold on. Let, let's go back to the one that they gave earlier. The Blossom 79. Yes. The Blossom 79 thing is much better advice because humans can remember this stuff. So then you would take Blossom 79 and flip that. To where it would be nine seven, and then blossom spelled backwards. All right. So you're making your password twice as long, See, intentionally. I d- I just don't agree with this. Um, I think that. <sighs> Hold on. This makes a really secure password. It makes something that no, is it difficult to remember. Difficult to remember and difficult to type. Every additional letter, you can't see what you're typing. So, uh, you know, this is a this is a country of hunters and peckers out there. People aren't, uh, you know, I mean, no, I do not think you need a 16-character password. I think this is terrible advice. Frankly, I think you need something between 8 and 10 uh, because what you need is so- what you need is something that's going to work on every website. Um, and most websites the most they demand from you is uh, to have uh, letters and numbers and capitals and lowercase. Right. Um, you know, maybe having a, a punctuation in there is not a bad idea. What I think you need is a set of letters, numbers, and punctuation that you always use, and then it to change it individually for each website. So pick some of the letters, um, you know, just... Whichever letters you use, the first letter and the second letter, the first letter and the third letter, the first letter and the last letter, the first letter, you know, the last letter and the third letter, because they're all going to have a last letter and a third letter, yes. except for HP.com, um, you know, or something like that. You pick the, you know, pick these, you know, these systems that are going to work better. I do not like this. Let's make people's uh, passwords long and complicated. 
don't use the same password for all accounts. My system, as I told earlier, is going to give you a different password for every account. But it's going to be so simple that you can remember it every time. Yes. And what they have down here is the reason why. I said it's not just a good idea, or rather it's just not a good idea. Yeah. Imagine if a hacker cracks your password, they now have access to all of your social media and email accounts and any banking that you do. Yes, um, this is the reason you shouldn't use the same password on every account. Absolutely. The next one on the list is one that I think makes absolutely no sense. All right. From a security standpoint, get a password manager. Password managers help you generate random passwords that are strong, then store them for you. So Encrypted on your machine. So um, I have this uh, this one that I um, use in some um, circumstances called LastPass. Now, this can be very good. That's one that they recommend. There's yeah. also Dashlane, 1Password, Keeper, and Password Box. So one time I was at a uh, an event, uh, and somebody had their password sniffed at this event because they entered them in with a keystroke on um, at you know on their computer I had pro XPN but in one of the circumstances I had forgotten to turn it on it was not activated at the moment this is one of the reasons I recommend keeping it on all the time it's not the easiest thing to do I understand um, but you know that's it I, I didn't have it on that's the reality of the situation now because I logged on to my email with the last pass rather than logging on with um, you know, a keystroke, nobody got me. Nobody sniffed me. Right. But if I would have had my, if I had my laptop stolen and LastPass is, you know, like I have it open um, and, you know, I don't like to enter that uh, password every time. I have a system where it um, sort of um, irregularly makes me enter my password. They've got access to everything. So it's a, it's a trade-off. Yeah. The, do, you want to, do you want to be safe online or do you want to be safe in real life is what these uh, managers are all about. The next one on the list, intentionally misspell words. Yeah. Most brute force attacks to determine your password will have a reference dictionary, so common words are easier for them to figure out. Yes. Why not throw hackers a curveball by intentionally misspelling a word in your password? So, for instance, unicorn 73 pound underscore four would become unicorn spelled O-O-N-I-K-O-R-N. It's a pretty strong password. The other thing is, is that I think it's uh, you know fair to mention again is, is that you can't brew force online passwords. If you're talking about your email or your bank or something like this, they're not going to be able to do a million hits in a second to break it open. However, if you're talking about your Wi-Fi um, account, you know this is where you should have a paragraph from your favorite book as your password or something. Yes. Um. Or, you know, some some much longer password. That's where it uh, really comes into play. So. And then the last one on the list is the one that Dennis recommended, where you. Take a sentence and then take the first letter of each word of the sentence. Yeah. And the example that they give is, Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Yep. Then becomes T-I-H-A-F-W-N-I-K-A. Right. With the T, I, and K all being capitalized. That would be certainly helpful, and everybody's got a favorite book, and, um, you know, I mean, a favorite line from that favorite book is a great way to, uh, you know, get yourself a set of random letter, a lowercase and uppercase letters, and that's going to be very helpful. You also have to throw some numbers and punctuation in there, um, and I think it's a good idea to have uh, letters from the website you're visiting. That way it changes that web that um, thing every single time. So you have it, you know, maybe it's in the middle, maybe it's in the front, maybe it's at the end, but it changes it every time if you add those extra two letters or whatever from the website. 
just our advice here on Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. Get some security tips and let us know at 855-450-3733. Free Talk Live. Do you owe the IRS money that you can't pay? Are tax liens and levies ruining your life? Are you tired of being afraid just to go to the mailbox? If this describes you, then Dan Pilla can help. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla, and I've been solving tax problems for more than 30 years. In fact, I wrote the book that made it possible to negotiate settlements with the IRS, and I've helped thousands of people do exactly that. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. New changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever before eliminate their debts once and for all. There's no need for you to suffer another day with IRS debt. Call 800-346-6829. I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippie! On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. MindThings.com is a fun online game that pits you against people around the world to mine for scarce resources. Do business in a capitalist economy with virtually mined gold. Tax-free. It doesn't require a big time commitment. Your little mining robot guy works whether you're logged in or not. It costs nothing to play, but you can buy bonuses. They even accept bitcoins. Go to MineThings.com, use coupon code FTL, and double your mining speed. It's free. MineThings.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats and the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. Immigrating to the Shire was easy. I was instantly plugged into a community of individuals who also care about peace, liberty, and justice and are willing to do something about it. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. You're listening to the best liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Free Talk Live, 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. It's the live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live. You can give us a call and talk about whatever it is you want to talk about. This is Mark. And Daryl. Again, 855-450-3733. But we uh, just finished up an article on password strength, which is... uh, 
you know, something uh, important here. Um, you know, I mean, we all have these online lives and, uh, you know, you can't just run around with your your dog and the number 69 behind it. It's kind of a really strange password, but I'll bet you somebody's got it. Um, or password spelled with a four in the middle or something. No, that's not going to not going to cut it. You need something better than that. Well, that's better than just the word password. Yeah, it's better. Um, anyway, you can go to coffee.freetalklive.com and get a free pound of some of the most delicious coffee you're ever going to try. This coffee is 100% organic, top 1% grade Arabica beans, shade grown. Now, shade grown is really important for those that have uh, issues with, um, you know, coffee giving them kind of uh, an upset stomach. Because shade grown doesn't have the acidity that uh, regular Robusto beans does do. Excuse me. Uh, Buzzbox is also unique in that uh, they care greatly about the people that work for them. They uh, offer loans to people to be, join their coffee co-op so that these families can make a better life for themselves by producing sustainable coffee that doesn't wreck their land. Um, that means that they can pass it on for generations. This is really important. Also, they allow partners like Free Talk Live to... Uh, you know, provide micro loans to people around the world. This is the reason I was interested in this um, from the beginning is because we can help people. You can't be free until you can at least earn a living. And that's what it, uh, you know, people are able to do with these micro loans. If we get a thousand listeners to sign up, we can get a hundred micro loans to make people's lives better. Plus, your life is made better. You're going to still be a coffee drinker. You're going to still buy coffee, but now you're going to get great coffee that's better for you, that's delivered right to your door. It handles your whole um, it handles your whole coffee issue. So coffee.freetalklive.com. To get a free pound, you cover the shipping, we'll cover the pound. Uh, you have to sign up for a subscription, but you can cancel at any time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Let's go to... Jim, calling in from Scottsdale. Jim, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Well, Mark, you've had this harassing caller in the past month. Is this Wit? That likes to... Wit? You've had this harassing call in the oh, last answer. month. Okay. That like... Hello? It, yes, I just wanted to know if it was Wit, and then it didn't seem like you answered the question. My state. I, can't, I can't answer a question? My friends call me that. My gift name is James. All right, fine. You're in studio. You're in studio with somebody that thinks I should be banished from your airwaves. So he's not a libertarian, <laughs> and I think he's a man of weak mind and weak character. Well, straight up. I don't think that. Uh, uh, I mean, Free Talk Live is a private show, so therefore. Um, I know that. I want to talk to you, Mark. Go right may ahead. I, may I say something about this caller that's been harassing you, yes. and likes to point out to the audience that you're a convicted felon. That's correct. And uh, has to something to do with. Being a murderer, a murderer. Yes. Now I don't think. See, I've only been listening. And by the way, happy anniversary, Mark. It's been a month now since I've been listening to your program Thank and you. calling in to disagree with you <laughs> as respectfully as I can. But I never call in to wax you and to, uh, like most of the time, the hosts on this program agree with each other. Yeah, I think we ever... need a dissenting opinions uh, if it's dissented well. But go ahead. Very good. I should try. I should like to do so. My point is, I know that I never, not having known that about you until like halfway into my experience with your show, I always thought that you sound like a decent chap, even though some of the things you, uh, the character, the caricature of you, of me that you have is despicable and wrong. And it's because you're prejudiced. Like I've already said on your show, all men are prejudiced. Yeah, all men are prejudiced. But I forgive you. Thank you. I forgive you because, again, I think you're a decent chap and want to do well towards your fellow man, even though uh, you've said truly astonishing things about me that are not true, but you believe it because, like so many libertarians I know, you're so progressive, and progressives are the most prejudiced, stereotypical minds of anybody that I've ever been around in my experiences with philosophy, theology, economics, and what have you. Well, I don't think I'm progressive. But, um, I, I actually almost had a Republican um, uh, elephant tattooed on my arm in my early 20s. So I'm reasonably certain I'm not progressive. Um, I also used to be a pro-war guy. 
Um, you know, I right. supported okay. the invasion of Afghanistan and the invasion of Iraq. And then I had a change of heart because over time I began to see that although I might be scared of some attack here or there, that the government is a terrible organization that has no, um, you know, that, that has no uh, consequences for its actions. So you shouldn't turn over important things like security to them. Okay, right. Like you just affirmed, you, your anti-war uh, rants, ramblings, whatever you want to call them, that some guy that calls everything I call in about ramblings on online when he posts your show on archives. Uh, again, I don't post. You sound just like progress. I'm not saying you are. I said some guy. I think his name is Benjamin. Okay. Uh, you sound so progressive and. Uh, Anti-war is something I want to talk to you later about your Holy Trinity, uh, your show's Holy Trinity, anti-war, anti-government, uh, pro-free markets. Okay. Yeah, I'm like largely with you on two of them. Yes. I don't believe we uh, ever will get rid of evil on this earth if we're anti-war. So like I told your call screener, I called him about Mahatma Gandhi, but quickly I want to finish you what I, my point about the caller that harasses you, he wants to reduce your life and the worst thing that ever happened to you, the worst thing you ever did, to reducing you to being basically scum and that you should be long in jail because you were part of somebody else committing the murder, I believe, from what I heard you say. That's right. But this guy doesn't even have that solution. I don't care for him. I don't care for him. I think he's a, I think he's a hateful person. He's not a good contributor to the show because he just wants to harass you, like I said. Again, Mark, I think you're a decent human being, and I think the people that were celebrating on VJ Day were not celebrating the, the death of innocent children. They were celebrating the death of the evil empire of Japan, of, again, and uh, the violence beget peace. That was the first reason why I ever called your show, and it did beget peace. Well, and I, 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 and I think I, that you can I, point my out dad, a few— My dad was quick, quickly let me say and one more thing. My dad was also an artillery commander in Germany. Well— let's say, in the north of France and until when they got into Germany, he used to order bombs be dropped on who knows, but they were aiming at Nazis. He ended up it wasn't until Dresden that Herman they were France. aiming. Um, so these bombs, these 500-pound and 1,000-pound bombs, were uh, they're much more specific things. So you don't want to waste right. them on civilians. You would well, drop them. I, 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 you drop okay, them Mark. with the purpose of, until Dresden when they firebombed the city, and that's a mm-hmm. different story. Uh, bureaucratic overkill, as it was has been called, yep. which is pretty good uh, description of it. Again, my dad wasn't aiming for children. Right. He was aiming for guys that were literally wearing swastikas who liked to hide amongst children, just like the people working in munitions factories, factories hid amongst children. They are scum, and they never did it again. Again, my dad had German friends after the occupation of Germany, and they all realized that the innocent people that died during World War II was 100 percent their culpability, not the Americans. Just like Japanese people came to love General MacArthur. They well, literally came to well, revere Stock- him. There's such thing as Stockholm then- Syndrome, too, Wit. Um, I mean, okay. Oh, my God. Okay. What, so you- may we skip to that? Skip to the caricature, caricature that you have of me. I don't. I, I know what the Stockholm syndrome is, and about uh, becoming uh, of like mind with your abductors. Yeah, abductors. Yeah, yeah. abductors. Yeah, the same thing. And it, these things uh, happen, same. right? Um, but one thing that yeah, you, I don't you say think that Japan or Japan, Germany and Japan are wonderful countries now. They're not victims of Stockholm syndrome. Yes, but the United States used violence in this circumstance too, and the United States is the um, largest military on the planet. So you can't claim that the use of violence didn't beget violence in that circumstance. It did. The United States won and it became the, more violent. Okay, uh, I call in to respond to things that you say after I don't get a chance to respond. All right, well, let's talk, talk about like it next time. Oh, wait, I do appreciate God. it. Thank you. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because 
I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $33,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet for $33,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Call Call 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Which order you can go this way? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot bring signs into their rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable me. here, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Who do you think you Excuse are? me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. No, I have work today. This no, is... You ain't gonna make it. Wait a minute. Now, now. Wait a minute. Oh, Holy crap. Yeah, the road. Whoa. Hey! Oh, my God. Unbelievable. Why are you running from me? Because you're scared of me. Property. What am I being now. detained for? You're being served. What is this? You're being served. What is this? Bureaucrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at LRN.FM? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at LRN.FM. That's LRN.FM. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges start a conversation with your neighbor or your doctor or your family or your school. Now there's teachers and lawyers and business executives and they all wear shiny badges and they all reject the state. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges show the world that you reject coercion and aggression and oppression by the state. Shinybadges.com while our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-4. 50 free. That's 855-450-3733. Is it possible to call in? I guess it is. We might be able to squeeze you in in the last few moments of the show here. This is the final segment of uh, the live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live with Mark. And Daryl. And we just had uh, Wit call in, and, and I thought that Wit claims to be a libertarian, and I would have thought that he might have uh, you know shed the left-right paradigm, but... He called me a progressive, and I think that this is interesting. Not, I'm not upset um, by any means. I, you know, I, I, I'm amused, <laughs> but um, you know, this this sort of uh, application of things like progressive and conservative to the the liberty philosophy, and this is really important to talk about because these terms are loaded as hell and outdated and old. They just don't make any sense. Yes. And I w- want to tell you about that really just after I finish telling you about blockchain.info. You can go to blockchain.info. You can get 
the best online wallet available for Bitcoins. Now, if you have Bitcoins, you have to have a wallet to keep the Bitcoins in. And the wallet is essentially an online account. And this is what it is. And, but, and it's this one is safe because it's not a third-party wallet. You, they never possess your Bitcoins. All the encryption is done in your browser. The convenient thing is, is you're able to access your it, it from your computer or your tablet or your smartphone or whatever. That makes it awesome. So you can, you know do your main accounting on your computer and then when you want to do purchases right there on your smartphone blockchain.info and i can't recommend them highly enough so i'm a progressive is the claim that uh, wit made now i would be considered by most libertarians that i know to be conservative in their estimation i do not ascribed to the idea that a polyamorous lifestyle is going to provide the best uh, outcomes for most people. Now, if it works for you, awesome. I'm not going to not talk to you because of it. I might ask some questions, but I'm not going to not talk to you. I don't, um, you know, I, I, I don't, uh, you know, ascribe to feminism, for instance, which has sort of gotten big in the uh, the liberty movement. Well, and that is such a loaded term as well. Yes, it's another. It's all if, these loaded terms. If by feminism you mean that men and women should be treated equally under the law, then yes, I'm a feminist. Yes. If by feminist you mean men that and women should not be treated equally under the law, which is, uh, you know, what feminism seems to have worked for a great deal in the last few decades. That, well, a, a lot of people, not only that, but that women should be given special privileges under the law. Right. That's not equal. <laughs> That's not equal. True. And also in some fields to where physical strength is really paramount to the job yeah such as professional firefighter right you have to pick up they a- have lowered the standards so that more women can pass the strength test and- in the name of feminism Right, and that's ridiculous. That's not in the name of firefighting, and that's really the problem. We have female firefighters that uh, can do things on our fire crew, and that is awesome. There's nothing wrong with that. But, I mean, you know, in some circumstances, holding a clipboard is just as important as holding a fire hose because, the, the you know, these jobs, the, these jobs have value. They're important. So, anyway, let's go back to progressivism. I hold very few progressive philosophies. But yeah, I do believe that libertarianism needs to have multiple messages so that we can welcome lots of different people in. Witt calls himself a libertarian. I say, fine. I'm a big uh, umbrella libertarian. I, I'm fine with that. But I do have a special cudgel for war because I think that first, the first and foremost, most dangerous thing that government does is kill. That during the 20th century, the state, and by the state I mean people that claim for themselves a monopoly privilege or a cartelized privilege of violence in a given geographic area, those people killed more people than smoking, heart disease, any cancer, anything else. So, yeah, most of those are communist dictators, people like Mao, Pol Pot, Stalin, these kind of things. But the United States can't deny that they're responsible for many innocent deaths, too. And I just want to see the fewer of those, the better. Now, the reason that, for instance, I'm against the dropping of uh, bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki is because Japan was suing for peace through uh, Russia at the time. That was an ally of the United States. And there was, you know, why do you need to invade the, the Japanese mainland? If you would have held these uh, these bombs and these soldiers off for a little while, then you could have just as easily. Japan was on the run for the last two years of the uh, during the uh, in the Pacific theater. So and, I don't think it's necessary. And Japan had offered a surrender with the condition we get to keep the emperor. Yes. The United States said no. Drop a bomb. Drop a bomb. Okay, you get to keep the emperor. Right. And I believe that just that, that the dropping of the bombs were just as much a message for the for Russia, the Soviet Union as they were the Soviet Union. Um 
which basically was Russia, <laughs> um, was just as much a message for them as it was. And I don't think that a single Japanese person needs to die to send a message to the Soviet Union. That's wrong, and that's evil. And that's a concern I have. So, yeah, it's easy to go to World War II. This is the most just war of a, in the last century. You don't see people defending World War I, where the United States' intervention basically caused Hitler to rise to power. It's, it's a bit of a stretch, but not much of one, not, it's not much of a stretch. If the United States hadn't gotten World War I, then the Allies, Great Britain and France, wouldn't have had that much of an upper hand over Germany, and they wouldn't have been able to shove the Treaty of Versailles, which was so onerous, down on the, uh, the Germans, and the German people wouldn't have suffered so greatly between World War I and World War II, therefore opening the door for this crazy fascist nut job to get into power. Now, we don't know for certain, but it is highly unlikely that if the Treaty of Versailles had not have been uh, put into place, that Hitler would have risen to power. Many historians have said this. You don't see people going after the Vietnam War or anything like that. They always hold up World War II. And that's fine. They were killing Jews, and it was an awful, awful conflict. It's pretty clear to see who the bad guys were. And basically, it was a conflict between Stalin and, and uh, Hitler, not a conflict between the United States and Hitler. But, you know, that's the U.S. We tend to be somewhat uh, ethnocentric. So, yeah, on one issue, I'm anti-war, and it's because I don't believe in uh, endangering the U.S. I think that our foreign policy, specifically the foreign policy in the Middle East, is what endangers this country. Terrorists aren't attacking Switzerland, for instance, which doesn't have a military presence in the Middle East. They have attacked other governments that have uh, presence there in order to convince them to get out. And I'm convinced. Let's get out. Let them do whatever they're going to do over there. Let the equilibrium fall however it's going to fall. And at some point or another, things will be fine. The Really, the issue with the United States is they want control of that oil. It's all about the oil. Yes. So, I, I, you know, I can't. I don't find that just. You're not. You know, you're not talking about justice there. We're not talking about the Christianity and um, Islam, one superiority or the other. You're talking about the superiority of oil and possessing it, and that's what my concern is there. And I don't consider that to be a particularly progressive point of view, but I do think that. We have to look at the progressive movement. We have to look at the conservatives. We have to look at these people for the good ideas. These people have good ideas. The idea that just the Democrats or just the Republicans are the good party. If you think that all the ideas from the Republicans or all the ideas from the Democrats are bad, you're a partisan and your opinion doesn't matter. You're going to vote for whoever, whatever your party is anyway. You're not being convinced. It's the people in the middle that actually make the decisions in this country. The people that can have their ideas swayed. So I really don't have any interest in somebody who would vote for Hitler if he was a Republican or vote for Stalin if he was a Democrat. Doesn't Those people don't matter to me. If you're voting just based on a D or an R, you're not thinking. You're not, if, you're not interesting to me. I want to talk about ideas. And the Democrats and the Republicans, they have some good ideas on both sides. So, yeah, I hope, I hope I'm adopting the good ideas. That's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, and it seems to me that most of the Republican ideas are we're against what the Democrats support, and the Democrat ideas are generally we're against what the Republicans support, well, it, and then what they actually support falls somewhere in the middle of what the other party is actually opposed to. What they support is whatever they get the biggest payoff from from supporters, and then they just all the rest of it's just yickety yak, and. That's why I just think that this system is doomed. I just think the Constitution's doomed. It was, you know, a flawed document when it was written. It was written by men. How could it not be flawed? Freetalklive.com in the meantime, or our Facebook page at facebook.freetalklive.com. There's a tre- If you're looking for work, the person you are applying to is probably so swamped with applicants that he or she is tough to reach. So call early in the day, before 8 a.m., before the palace guards arrive. You'll need your prospect's direct number, and here's a sneaky way to get it. Suppose the company's main number is 555-5000. You should call 555 501 
two. When someone says, good morning, Pam Johnson, you should innocently say, oops, somebody here must have written this down wrong. I was calling for Tom Frederick. What's his direct number? If the very next thing you hear isn't Pam giving you Tom's number, it may be, good morning, Tom Frederick. For more tips for job seekers and getting better results in all your day-to-day communication, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. Did you know coffee is the second most absorbent crop on earth? Most coffee at grocery stores or in chains contains banned pesticides and has a high mold content. Seriously, we're proud to partner with Camano Island Coffee Roasters to provide the best of the best coffee, BuzzBox Coffee. Try a free pound today. You cover shipping. 10% of future purchases benefit our efforts to give the gift of human freedom throughout the world. At least 100 World Vision microfinance loans. For more information, go to coffee.freetalklive.com. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. The latest episode of Liberty Conspiracy is next, after the news, here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. From Kane in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Sunday, April 13th, 2014. Silver is trading at $20 per ounce. Gold is worth $1,319 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $406. Reuters reports armed separatists took control of a city in eastern Ukraine on Saturday, and Kiev prepared troops to tackle what it called an act of aggression by Russia, pushing the conflict between the neighbors into a dangerous new phase. Pro-Russian activists carrying automatic weapons seized government buildings in Slavyansk, a town about 90 miles from the Russian border, and set up barricades on the outskirts of the city. Government buildings in several other towns were attacked in what Washington said were moves reminiscent of the events that preceded Russia's annexation of Crimea. The West accuses Russia of destabilizing the region, 